Hello everyone, I'm Cryptic Fox, and welcome back to the shop. Uh, we're headed back into Car Mechanic Simulator 2021 tonight to work on some more cars, expand our garage now that I've finally built up some cash, and uh, see what we can do to keep progressing in levels and unlocking stuff in the game. Um, this is the kind of game where there's a, there's a fair amount of uh, customer work you have to do early on in order to earn the cash and the experience you need in order to, uh, to get everything unlocked and stuff. So we can get to the stuff that I really want to do, which is just go gobbling up cars that are in the junkyard, Hauling them back to the shop, ripping them all apart, rebuilding them for resale and that kind of stuff. Um, but it should be fun. Uh, hopefully we got a bunch of jobs done tonight. And we'll get to play around maybe with a new repair table if we can get uh, we can get that all set up. Uh, welcome everybody who's here in the, in the uh, chat so far. Or if you're watching on the channel afterwards, welcome as well. As always, big thanks to everyone who's clicked on the join button to become a channel member and support the channel. I do appreciate it. A special thanks to all of our top tier Mistakes Were Made members who were highlighted at the start of the stream. Um, so I'm gonna, you know, first thing I'm gonna do is change this radio station. I cannot find a good station out of the, the couple of choices that it gives me. We'll leave it with that one. Uh, this section over here, there's supposed to be a room behind here. You can see it in the demo where there's, uh, repair tables and that kind of stuff, but we don't have it open yet. So that's the first thing we're gonna do today. We're buying the, uh, the garage expansion. Uh, that would be over here. Uh, this one here, 10,000 credits. Now we have 12,306, so it's gonna leave us maybe a little bit tight for doing customer work. Hopefully not, hopefully not too tight. We might have to take a couple of cheap jobs afterwards. Uh, but we'll grab that first. Open up the garage. Now we won't have the repair tables right away. That's actually over here. We have to get the workbench in order to do that. But at least it opens up the room for us. So we've got space in here, and this is where the stuff is going to go when we earn a little bit more cash, yet again, uh, in order to, uh, in order to be able to, to make use of this space. So we've basically just opened up a large empty room we can do literally nothing with. For like 10,000 credits. <laughs> but in here, uh, there are uh, two things we can get here. There's, well, actually a couple. There's the brake lathe here we can get. That's uh, 1,750 credits. Uh, we have the workbench. That's another 1,500 credits. Both of these, I believe, well, this one definitely requires a renovator upgrade. Uh, we also have the uh, the body repair station that can go in there, and that's for repairing body panels and stuff on the car that are all dented. Uh, again, another like 2,500 credits to unlock that. Now that we've expanded the garage, we can also buy the engine tools. This is uh, basically the uh, the engine stand and the, uh, the engine lift. Um, they'll actually end up going somewhere I don't know where. This bus is still kind of in the way. So when we buy those, I have no idea where they're going to appear. Probably over here somewhere, I guess. But I'm not really sure. We'll see what happens, I guess. Uh, but we do have customer uh, customer work to do. Maybe we can go off to the junkyard once we get the, the repair bench fixed. I'm, cur I'm curious whether in uh, 2021, whether it's still worthwhile going to the junkyard to get parts and then bringing them back uh, to the shop to fix up and sell as a means of making cash. Uh, I have... Uh, so this one's a story order. These two are normal orders. Neither one of those give any bonuses, so I guess we'll just take the story order to start things off. Attack of the big jobs right off the beginning. We'll see how it goes. Oh my god, this car's dirty. And it's missing the front end? <laughs> I think I have some idea. Oh my god, there's even wheels missing at this thing. How did they get it here, I wonder? Oh, look at that. The license plate is big boy. <laughs> oh, someone's overcompensating. Wow. All right, well, I think first things first, we're gonna wash this. Well, maybe let's see what the jobs say for this thing. Maybe uh, there might be a car wash on the... Nope, nope, they still don't have a car wash on the job list. I thought for sure with this car, it would be telling us we need to uh, we need to wash it, but uh, apparently they're perfectly happy getting it back dirty. Super weird. I'm gonna get it in the bay. I mean, I think it assumes that we, that we have a tow truck or something around. Like there is a tow truck over here, but I... Why they would ditch it on the ground? I mean, we could roll it with three wheels, right? We will prop something under it, like uh, I don't know, like a rolling jack or something. <laughs> Just roll that along, cause that's perfectly safe. Is this motorcycle mechanic simulator? Um, well, it, it's got one too many wheels for that. Let's send this off to the car wash. I'm gonna get it clean first. Man, this Ford Focus. Yeah, this is kind of like a Ford Focus, isn't it? <laughs> it's a little hard to tell, cause it's got a very weird front profile. In that it doesn't have the front fender on it. Wash it up. I didn't notice whether this cost any credits. So I had 2,306 there. Or did I have more before I clicked on it? Let's try the uh, interior clean too. 2,306. No, I guess cleaning is free. Oh, it looks it looks significantly better 
Well, I mean, aside from the rust. Once we clean it, it does look better, though. It's it's not quite as awful. Whatever. It doesn't have to be perfect. That's a customer's car. It's not ours. This that Ford Focus be looking good. This is, uh, it's got a special battering ram on the front of it, so when you smash into things, you don't just hit them, you, like, slice into them with the front of the car. It's a giant razor blade car, basically. <laughs> Am I going to convert this car to a motorcycle? Hmm. Maybe we can turn it into, like, an Archimoto or something. Something like that. Uh, Alright, so there are some things on this car that are not yet discovered, so we'll have to find those. Uh, I guess we'll start off by running all the tests in here, because the, X the XP is not bad. And it might uncover some stuff for us. Let's see what we can find. Second lift deletes the bus from the shop. If, uh, yep. Yep. I figured that would be the case. It was just a placeholder. Uh, I'm not in a rush to get a second lift right now anyway. I'm more interested in the other stuff. Because I really only can work on one car at a time right now. Until we get to the point where I can find something in the junkyard I want to bring back. If I want to work on it like gradually over time. As opposed to uh, like just spending an hour or something and just detailing the whole thing. Like if we were going to try to repair a car and repair parts from the junkyard in order to fix it. Then I might keep a second one there. OBD scanner of the engine bay. I have no idea where these things are needed, but all I know is I can run the test here, so that's fine by me. <laughs> Highly efficient air cooling. Oh, is that what it is? Is that what it is? Well, it, it, can you imagine the amount of dirt that would have been going in the front of the car based on how dirty this thing was? Great to hear that the developer listened to the players and fixed the horrible driving physics in the previous game. Yeah, they are significantly better. Significantly better, and I think a lot of it has to do with with tire traction and stuff. So, like in in, uh, in 2018, you pretty much had to have the racing slicks on any tire you or any car you were driving, otherwise you had like no traction. Yeah, we get free experience for doing all this stuff too. Doesn't pay us any more money, but it does uh, does give us XP. Each thing we test or inspect is one, one XP, same as the uh, moving one. Good, Kenneth. How are you? The OBD scanner plugs into the steering wheel. Yeah, yeah. Um, that is, is that when there's like a fuse box or something right in there? I can't even open it to look. But isn't there normally like a fuse box like underneath the the console or something? I don't know. I'm no mechanic. What do I know? Okay, so that discovered one of the parts. Uh, the alternator, I think, was was toast. Oh, there is a little bit of body work to do on this one. We could do most of this. We're going to be buying because I can't repair any of the. Oh no! <laughs> oh no! Um, okay, this job needs to wait. <laughs> well, this uh, I spent all my money because I'm smart that way. And I don't have enough money to buy all the body parts this thing's going to need. <laughs> so, let's call in a different order here first. Preferably one with a credit. Nope, no bonuses on these. Uh, a loud one accelerating. Uh, car is loud. Car does not start. Alright, well, this one's probably going to have some muffler work or something, but let's take that order. We'll tackle a different order while we're waiting. Because, <laughs> uh... Yeah, we're going we're gonna to need a little bit of cash because I can't repair the body parts. Exhaust manifold, middle muffler, and then fluids and stuff. All right, this one should be fine. Put a little more cash in our pocket. This is one of those games where you, you probably shouldn't rush what I just did and, like, spend money too close to, like... I mean, I, I, I spent it to open up the room and I can't do anything with it, but I just... For the sake of YouTube, I was in a rush. <laughs> it's probably not a good idea. Next turns with a super chat. Sorry, I haven't been at your streams recently. My dad passed away, and I've been really busy with what I've been trying to come to. As man. Oh, sorry to hear that, Nick. Yeah, I lost my dad, I think, uh, 17 years ago now, something like that. I, I know how you feel. Obviously, it's a little more dated for me, but my condolences. Um, let's start first with the fluid, since the rest of it is just going to be... The uh, rest of it is just going to be the uh, exhaust system work anyway. Thing needs coolant. Don't need no stinking coolant. It's one thing, they want all the fluids in this one. Yeah, I went up for a smoke 17 years ago and never came back. That's right. <laughs> Wait, brother? Oh my god, we probably are hot lava tube. 
Uh, I've guessed two of the four electric car DLC, a Tesla and a Nissan Leaf. Nope, not so much. Uh, hold on one second. Uh, if we go into the store in here, or where was it, store page, um, you can actually look at the DLC. It'll tell you what it'll give you in the car. So the two DLCs that are coming at launch are the Nissan and the electric car. If you go to the electric car one, it gives you the list of the cars. So 2006 Adam Renton, Adam 330, a 2211 Tino Valenti is the, I'm, I'm guessing these are made up names. So I, it'll be interesting to see what they are, but these are older model cars with the exception of the 2018. So it'll be interesting to see what the 2018 is, but um, probably similar to other cars in the game. They're likely made up. But, uh, uh, all right. I was hoping I was hoping it'd be all branded car names, but I guess uh, electric car thing is not exactly a brand. <laughs> Question I all: Where is the coolant gone? <laughs> yeah. You know, there's a few things that make you wonder in this game with the fluids. It, so they gave you these jobs to put them in, but. If I had to fill up the brake fluid, where's the leak that lost it in the first place? Same thing with the coolant. And the power steering fluid. Like, all three of those things, there must be a leak somewhere. Otherwise, you would still have them. <laughs> At least with the windshield washer fluid, you can understand. I mean, they're using it all the time. But uh, All right, so exhaust manifold and uh, the middle muffler. Let's grab those. Get this car up here so we can see. Brake pads wear down, level of brake fluid goes down. Fluids do tend to slowly look even without leaks. Yeah, I guess, but I, I mean, I don't know. To, to, to the level that they are in this game, where they're basically empty, I don't, I don't know. I don't know if I buy that. Oh, the exhaust manifold had to come out too. I wasn't paying attention. All right, well, let's just um. Uh. Put that on the shopping list. Put the exhaust man full of the shopping list. We'll buy those now. Oh, still got ABS stuff in here. Buy parts. All right, get these off of here. This will be a quick and easy job. Put a little bit of extra money in our pocket. This game plus i racing equals mad fun. I racing? Do you mean like just racing, racing? Or oh, I gotta take, I gotta take the turbocharger off first. Bonus XP for removing the turbocharger. Ding plus one. Every time you take a part off the car, you get plus one. So theoretically, if you wanted to, you could take a customer car and strip it right down to nothing, and then just rebuild it all with the same parts. Get a whole bunch of XP, but it would take a lot more time than it's worth, I think. You'd be better off just completing more customer orders and getting the bonus XP for the job, I think. As brake pads and shoes wear down, each slave cylinder of each wheel has to travel farther out there by removing fluid from the master cylinder of each brake cylinder. Yeah, but wouldn't you uh, then, when you compress it again later to put on a new pad, would it then, if it was only, if it wasn't leaking out, would it not restore it back to the same level? And that's why you actually have a, like a float amount in here instead of instead of just a fixed amount. I can see losing some, but uh, okay. Exhaust manifold, other tasks. But then again, like I said, I'm not a mechanic, so for those of you who are mechanics, obviously I'm full of crap. <laughs> uh, what's this gonna earn us? 428 credits. That was pretty cheap. Did that even replace the cost of my parts? Did I not have 2,600 credits? Jeez. I hope I didn't spend... Uh, oh, that one's got bonus credits. I hope I didn't spend more money than I actually earned. Get roughly 100 experience points by taking a car completely apart, then 100 experience rebuilding it. Oh, actually, that's quite a bit then. That's well worth it. The, uh, because I've, I've noticed you only get, you know, well, obviously it depends on the car that you're working on. But for the average customer job in here where you're not doing anything really complicated, it seems like you only get maybe 40, uh, 40 experience points or so. So it probably is worth tearing it all the way down and redoing it. If your, if your objective is purely just to get the, the XP. All right. Knocking sound for the suspension. Parts not discovered. Okay. Uh, repair all running gear faults. 
Rubber bushings and spring gaps. Okay, I actually have a rubber bushing already, so that'll be easy. Car's loud. Well, gee. Loud car in this game is going to equal muffler. I'm going to take this thing out to the test track, actually. We'll go to the test track. That'll identify the suspension parts for us rather than doing other investigation. Take this for a spin. It has been in the hospital for five hours. Really? With asthma? Ouch. Okay, hold on a second. I'm going to... Uh, I hate that I can't click off the game. It needs to have an option. The, the one thing this game is really missing is an option to have uh, borderless window mode. I'm pretty sure it doesn't have it anyway. I'll, I'll double check when we get back to the garage. It's going to be a little loud. Sorry. We'd have to turn it down. Oh, God! Okay, we're going to the track backwards. <laughs> A lot of test works. Cars, uh, customers may or may not may or may not get their car back in one piece. It's optional. Oh god, there we go. <laughs> I can be trusted. It's fine. Don't worry. I'm a professional. Car destroyer. I should probably be playing, like, Crash Up Derby games instead. <laughs> Best racer on the track, then, if the objective is to destroy my own car. Everything you said is true, which is why topping your brake fluid makes a mess uh, if the mechanic pushed the cylinders back without draining. Oh, yeah, yeah, it would. <laughs> that would be messy. All right. Wheel hub bearings, rubber bushing, which we, are, we already knew about the bushing, though, so that's not a big deal. Everything else is, uh, you know, whatever. Simpatico. Okay, so we still didn't identify one of the issues. That's interesting. Um, it also didn't... Uh, wait a minute. Did it, did it get the... Um, no, it didn't identify the loud car parts either. Okay, so I mean the loud, the loud car parts are, is definitely going to be the exhaust. It's always the case in this game. I do have breakfast, actually. Yeah, I have played it a couple times. <laughs> As it turns out, the uh, the wreck races I, I don't do as as very exceptionally well on because the car still has to complete the race. <laughs> okay, so this is easy enough. We got. Uh, oops, hold on. I can just. I should probably inspect it just for the points. Inspection complete. Uh, it's funny. It only it only found like one of the issues. Even though I was sure I saw. Yeah, look. You can you can see what the problem is right here. Oh, it counts as part of the engine. That's weird. Just stick a soup can on the end. <laughs> Punch some holes in it. Hope your brother's a carpenter with a righteous set of tools. What's this now? Think you derive better when there are zombies on the road? Uh, that's debatable, but all right. <laughs> the difference in that game is that I can actually destroy the car, and I can't do it here. Which is... Like, no end of disappointment for me. I, I wish that, uh, oops. Wait, you can't enter the shopping list unless you're in this mode. Um, I wish you could destroy the car. That would be, uh, that'd be great. I'd, <laughs> I'd love to take a customer car out and wreck it and have to pay for it. <laughs> I'm weirdly entertained by those kinds of things. Okay, um, still don't know what that one problem is let's uh it you know it's probably like a, a brake module or something actually why would it be the brake module i guess they, they didn't notice any problem with the brakes let's check in here see if we can see no brake modules are fine all right time to inspect uh we need to find what that other problem is we need to fix uh engines already checked get the air intake checked out this is pointless i should be checking the suspension actually Having damage on there would be very costly to do. Yeah, there definitely would. I would if if I could actually destroy the car and it was a customer car, I would probably drive it a little bit more gently, but only probably. It's not really one of those things I could, you know, I could make guarantees on. Huh. Maybe it's at the back end of the car. Rear suspension might be messed up. Oh, yep, yeah, there it is. Oh no, wait, that was that one was already identified. Next, check the battery. <laughs> oh. You forgot I got to switch out of that mode. Still haven't discovered it. Huh. 
All right, well, I guess we'll just start poking around and see what we come up with. Uh, let's get these over here. Oh, no, I need those. Ah, shoot, I'm so dumb. I literally just put them on there. Wait, what did I leave on? Front exhaust section. So we need uh, rear muffler. Take that. Actually, while I'm thinking of it, I should probably just do it right now because I know how my brain works. In that it largely doesn't. Mix it up. Boiling fluid is a gas, uh, which is easy to compress, i.e. hot brakes cause no brake when it's hot enough. No. Plus you get that whole melting down business and stuff catching on fire. That's always fun, too. Okay. Those are done. Oh, wait a minute. No, that's just a rusted bolt. Uh, okay, so we've got the one wheel... Uh, there's the bushing that needs to come out. Oh, wait, that's just a rusted bolt. The bushing looks okay. Which bushing did I need to deal with? See, one of these is... Hmm. You know what? I should probably label things. <laughs> so I know which ones I'm supposed to take out. Wheel bearings are easy. I know where they are. Um, rubber bushing. The spring cap at the back. Muffler's taken care of. Oh, it is a bushing here. Okay. Get this up. Let's get this apart. Get wheels off. It's not your fault. You get distracted. Hey, it's Squirrel. <laughs> I am, uh, yeah. <laughs> I'm very easy dis easily distracted in games. Probably why I can't uh, I can't play too many role playing games. <laughs> I get I get involved in the side quests too much and I never get anything done. There's always that point where, oh, is that bushing no good? It didn't look like it was all messed up. No, it's sixty seven percent. Why is it coming to bread? Oh, it's telling me I got to take the bushing out to do something. I think. Fine. Uh, we gotta get this off. This one I can put right back on again, because I actually have bushings already. Alright, we'll put two new ones in, because I don't know which one was actually the one I had to swap out. Well, if you're missing for this game, is two pounds of anti-seize when you remove a rim. <laughs> uh, let's put that on the shopping list, before I forget. All right, rubber bushing is taken care of. Let's do the spring cap in the back since I know where that is. Can't see. Uh, T. Oh, well, I pulled the part off first, I guess. Gotta be a bushing or something that I gotta deal with. Okay. It's, and I'm assuming it's in the front since it. Everything with the. No, that rubber bushing was in the front. Hmm. Where, oh, where is that problem? This is where the trash pack would come in handy too, I guess. Is it the what to my left? Did they talk about the bushing? No, that bushing's okay. That one's fine. Oh wait, over here. There it is. Rear shock absorber cap. Oops. Pull that off. That's the part that wasn't identified. There we go. Okay, that problem's fixed. Uh, this got to come off. Oh. Alright. I thought I had put the wheel bearing on the shopping list, but apparently not. Unless I cleared it, because I'm smart that way. Seems like something I'd do. <laughs> if I see these bushes come out easy, I remember the half dozen times I've had to use a truck with a sledge to try and... Oh, yeah. <laughs> Everything in the game kind of comes out easy. 
They made a small nod to the fact that something sees up by making it so you have to spray WD-40 on things, which is, uh, you know, also not super realistic, but... They, uh, they definitely didn't make it so... I think it would be kind of cool if parts could seize and you had to, like, smack it with a sledgehammer or something, or use a torch to heat it up to get a part out or whatever. I think that'd be, a, a, like, a nice touch to the game. add like a little bit of added realism kind of thing. Bolt head on the right hand, lower control arm, inner bushing looks red rusty. Yeah, so the the bolts don't really matter so much when they're rusted in the in the game. So like this one here, that's this one's a mess. Um we could take it out like just for the sake of like freeing it up for the customers so we're like, "Hey, look, I uh I also redid this uh this bushing for you." Because it was a mess. And that's just the kind of mechanic I am now you have a clean bolt but it doesn't change anything it wasn't like part of the order so I mean we're in an experience for taking the part out and I think for putting it back in but we don't like we don't earn any more cash okay that'll get us 735 uh which we're not really gaining a lot of money on any one of these orders we're 2800 so we got what 300 net there so it's better than nothing What would be more interesting is they made it so that certain bearings require you to pull the wheel assembly to put the bearing and press it. Yeah. And then, if they made you manually pack the bearing with grease, that would be fun, too. Or maybe not. <laughs> I guess there's only so much detail, I guess, they can go into, but... Break problems. No bonus credit. Oh, this one's got bonus credits. Let's get the bonus credit one. All about them bonus credits. This one got going on. Air filter, fuel filter, oil filter, and then some exhaust issues. So this one will again be like super fast and easy, but probably also not pay well. Grease packing minigame, yeah, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Bump the engine to get the torque wrench up to free the crankshaft pulley. Yeah, and they should also have like your wrench slip sometimes so you can smack your knuckles on something and skin them. That would be perfect too. <laughs> so I'm going to go for realism. Let's go right for it. Hey, Cryptoc, so is this game pretty much more the same as the last game? Yeah, it really is pretty much more the same. Um, they've added some... Oh, wow, those shocks look like they're shot. Um, they've added some other stuff in with some, like... Uh, they've changed up the mini... There's, like, a sort of a mini game now for repairing parts and for balancing wheels and that kind of stuff. Um, they've added in fluids into the game. They've made some quality of life changes that are, that are nice. Uh, but the core of the game is essentially the same, yeah. They've also added, like, car washing and stuff, too, but it's really just, like, a point and click system uh what was i doing oh yeah uh air filter fuel filter oil filter wait a minute they want me to change the oil filter but they didn't ask for an oil change what i have to drain the oil oh that sucks <laughs> i have to drain the oil and replace it in order to do the filter otherwise i make a mess and i get a penalty but they're not going to pay me for the oil change that's probably why they're giving me bonus credits, the jerks. What kind of a bum deal is this? After the Slip Ratchet minigame, they could put in the, the washing your hands and putting on band-aids minigame too. Yeah. Using the uh that orange hand cleaner that's like washing your hands with liquid sand. <laughs> That'd be perfect too. Just put the same dirty oil back in. If only. Don't think I wouldn't try if I could. <laughs> oh my god, this music is driving me insane. I need to change again. I need to find a good station on here that's actually got something I can listen to that is mellow enough in the background that it adds a little atmosphere, but it's not, like, distracting. I don't know what that is going to be. I've got the, uh, the audio turned down a bit for you guys, so you probably don't hear the music too much, except when it's, like, really aggressive, but... Drives me nuts. Got a little converter and muffler are gone. That was pretty much it for the... Uh, Alright. Good enough. Easy peasy. Muffler's back. Analytic converters back. 
Uh, we gotta get this oil filter off of here. It is so much easier buying stuff in the shop in this one versus 2018. Look at this oil pan. I, I'm kind of curious what condition that's in. No, oh, I gotta do the whole engine. Also, if you're doing it outside where you can use a jack uh, to lift the car so you can do some cars outside, but not at all. I think it would be kind of cool if you had to like... Um, so, you know how they have... Um, they have barn finds and they have junkyard finds and stuff. It would be interesting if you had to like find a way to get the car onto the uh, onto the tow truck without like, ripping it to pieces. <laughs> like if like finding stuff out in a farmer's field or something to restore. That'd be cool. But again, I, I guess there's really only so much they can do from a realism perspective. What is going on up here? Shh, look at this thing's in rough shape and they don't even want me to fix it. That's a lot of deep orange parts there. Where's the uh Oh, well pans. It didn't even identify the problem there. Huh. Whatever. They're not paying me for it, so I'm not doing it. Yeah, this whole car's about to, about to go. It's uh, it's in fine shape. This thing. Where's the uh? There it is. Oh, the clips. These things are like the bane of my existence. I was forever missing the clips on the distributor cap in 2018. Oh, wait. That on there. Uh, we also need the fuel filter, which uh, should be back here somewhere. There it is. Bloop, bloop, bloop. Uh, that can go. I just job done in no time. Yeah, you have to take it to the shop on a trailer or something. Yeah, I mean, like, uh, everything is very is very fixed in place in this game, right? Like, the car is already on the lift, or it's out in front of your shop, or it's in the wash bay. So the car doesn't really move, unless you, like, take it out for a test drive. So, like, you know, if they wanted to, they could um, they could theoretically add all that stuff. I, I imagine it's probably a, a significant job to have those kinds of changes in, in, embedded in the game, but... I think it'd be kind of neat. <laughs> Always with the engine oil. Oh, I forget the engine oil like every time. This is why I need an electric car. <laughs> Manual tire braking before you unlock the tire uh, machine for true real experience. Or, uh, is that where you... Uh, when you're talking about manual tire braking, you're talking about like pounding on the tire with a hammer? <laughs> like... Try to like crack the seal. Is that what you're referring to with tire breaking? <laughs> okay, <laughs> this time, I swear I have most of the things in there. I also think somebody should come up with a mod that lets you play the darts in the game. You can't interact with them; they're just a static thing. But I feel like somebody needs to add a mod that lets you play darts. Not because you need to, but just because you should. <laughs> uh, all right, thirty-one hundred and fifty-two bucks. I, I I think we might have enough to do the car out here now. And I went out the wrong door. <laughs> I'm, I'm gonna do that a lot. When you use bars and ibidy forty to release the set uh, and set the beat on the tire, yes. Oh, okay, yeah, yeah. I thought that's what you were referring to. Um, all right, let's uh, blah. I haven't I haven't done any work on a car. In real life since like high school and that was a long time ago for me <laughs> like kind of a really long time ago part not discovered you know what i feel like um we should do a little little inspection here because oh whoa yeesh okay i can see one of the rims that has to go darts would be great yeah Dart, that's a 49.99 dlc this is not an ea game let's be clear <laughs> Red Dot is kind of a, they're, they're a small, uh, I, I, are they Polish or something? I, there's something in in, uh, in Europe, I think. Yeah, it's missing a wheel. That might be one of the un unidentified things, missing the wheel. Because you know, as a mechanic, we wouldn't spot that right away. It's it's concealed. <laughs> <laughs> Not 
Not lit until you had set the bead on a 17 inch rim with 160 PSI. I've never had to deal with truck tires, but I, I've heard that they have they could have a tendency to ex to explode when you're uh, when you're setting them. <laughs> the only thing I ever dealt with was uh, car tires, and again, that was a that was an exceptionally long time ago. And some some farm equipment too, because my dad had a farm. Huh. Okay. Well, I don't think we found the the other ident unidentified problems yet. That's uh that's the thing. Oh, I haven't checked the engine. <laughs> that's probably an important one. Are they gonna add mods for consoles or not? Um, I would expect not. I don't think consoles support mods. Just as a general rule. Breaking the beat in a Ford 650 tractor is a... Yeah, I, I bet that is a pain. <laughs> okay. Did I find the problems? Probably not, right? Part not discovered. So there's still one there that's not dealt with. Uh, the rest of it I've got figured out. Let's. Put, <laughs> I can put the windscreen fluid in right away. Change coolant fluid. All right, I should, uh... what am I going to deal with here? Let's start first with all this stuff. Get all these things tagged and out of here. I don't know what this, this part here is, but we'll figure that out. Actually, it looks like it might be the oil pan. No, the oil pan's listed. What is not glowing that looks like it should be? The steering rack, potentially? Steering rack is a question mark, and it looks like it's in brutal shape, so I suspect I have to do the steering rack. That's probably the unidentified part. Alright. Uh, chopping this is clean, so let's start dealing with that. Oil pan and this on here. I should, uh, I really should get the oil out of this, because I'm sure it has some in it. Try to avoid a mess. Missing side panel. Yeah, it's missing the whole front of the car. <laughs> Get the oil pan off. Okay, I'm going to add the steering rack because I'm I'm almost certain that's something I'm going to have to do. Uh, the alternator is at 31. Is that on the list? I think it was, right? Yeah. Add the alternator. We'll get that off of here. Oh, I can't do that from underneath. What else have we got? I guess we got the wheels. <laughs> that rim is in rough shape. Oh, uh, you know, while I'm thinking of it, I'll put it on the... Put it on the shopping list so I don't forget. I guess not that I couldn't check in my inventory, but... Alright, we need the uh, outer tie rod ends off here. Oh, it's highlighting weird. Oh, it's because of the tire. That, that blue thing I got highlighted. Inner tire rod end, that can go. Then we gotta go on the other side. <laughs> this one should be a little easier. Okay. That's good. What else have we got in here? Exhaust session, medium intercooler. Oh, pan radiator's gotta come out. Not surprised. Radiator's a little messy. Oh, I gotta get I gotta drain the coolant before we pull the radiator out. That would be a good idea. Oh, I gotta lower the car. Shoot. Ah, the times before max level. Would removing bolts actually takes time, right? <laughs> I mean, we could just go into sandbox mode, but I like the idea of like playing through the game and unlocking stuff. It's nice that they have a sandbox mode so that people who don't want to do that can just jump straight to whatever they want to do. I like, I got a kick out of this game. It's such a chill game to play. I played a lot of 2018. Uh, is this part? Oh, Van Housing's gonna come off. I knew that. Okay. Uh, we can get the radiator off, or the, the radiator, the alternator, rather. Uh, but first, we gotta get these things out of here. Get that out of here. 
Ooh, that belt is toast. It's already on there. The steering rack was the item that was unidentified. Ha! Take that. That shows me all that wonderful rust. I think I added the alternator twice on the shopping list, but that's okay. Okay. Yep, I did. That's fine. I'm stop buying. Nope, that'll be in the electrical section. That'll be in the wheels. Superdome belt is here, though. Okay, uh, tire shop, I'm presuming, is where we get rims from, maybe? No. Oh, there'll be a rim thing here. Yeah, rim shop. There we go. Yeah, I need two of these. Oh, shoot. It doesn't say what size it is, does it? Okay, hold on. Uh... Where the heck is the wheel I took off? Oh, I don't have the parts separated yet. Oh, oh, there it is. Hold on, I saw it. 19 inch. 19 inch, I guess. Oh, I don't even know what's going on. Okay, you know what? I'm going to separate that thing so I make sure I buy the right part. I don't have a lot of cash to work with right here, so I don't want to... I don't want to... I don't want to mess something up. <laughs> Yeah, it's at 19, but... You can't play at 2018's what uh, brought me to your channel. Well, welcome, Wolfie. Yeah, there's uh, there's a lot of people that actually came and checked out the channel when I was playing that game. It, it's one of those games where I, I saw... I saw the 2015 version, and then, and then I saw that 2018 was coming out, and I was like, I really want to try that. It kind of looks... I don't know, it looks interesting. But I really wasn't expecting anyone else to be really into it. <laughs> As it turns out, it's one of the more popular things of the channel, so that's cool. So 19 inch ET zero. I have no idea what ET is, but uh, I'm gonna phone home. 19 inch. I need two of these, uh, and then we're gonna need uh, we're gonna need some rubber as well. Sport tire 25. Let's put that on the list there. No, wait, it's gotta be a space bar in here. Weird that it changes, but it does. Um, did I get the alternator yet? I don't think I did. Tires. Uh, oh, it does put it in here. 235, 35R19. Uh, 235. What? Am I doing something wrong? <laughs> there we go. <laughs> I gotta do it in the right order. <laughs> Let's get two of those. I don't have enough. Oh my god. Uh, Houston, we have a problem. I really underestimated what this job was gonna cost. <laughs> I have a thousand dollars. A thousand dollars to try to fix. Oh my god. It's got bricks under it. That's amazing! <laughs> I didn't even notice. <laughs> uh, small detail, but it's fun. I like that. Okay, well, I need to find a cheap car to fix. Uh, car is loud. I could probably do that one for a couple hundred bucks, right? <laughs> Can't believe the story order is so expensive. Sell the bus for two bucks. <laughs> The thing is, I, I have to buy body panels and stuff, too. Like, I can't I can't finish that one. I, I need a lot more money than I have. Uh, and I was super smart and spent all the money I had opening up a section of the building I can't use. Uh, exhaust pipe and muffler. Okay, this will be an easy one. Down on the lift. I understand when reading about E.T. is the depth of the rim. Oh, uh, okay. Sell all your broken garbage and hope that it gets to the funds. Well, it's still, it, it might be enough to get those uh the tires or whatever but it would not be enough to buy the body parts that i need so one way or another we're still stuck having to do other jobs no i need two tires because there's um oh wait you're right i do only need one tire what's the condition of the tire in my inventory you're right i do only need one tire 
Look at you, Crystal. Botting all my mistakes. Yeah, I do only need one. But I still don't have enough to finish the car, because I need to... Uh, I need to buy, like, another radiator, uh, which I should probably put on the list. Actually, I'll take that off the list for now, because I'm going to screw up otherwise. Take that off, too. Um... I still need to buy another radiator, and then I have to buy the front panel for the car, some side panels and stuff, so I, I definitely don't have enough cash. Does the car really need body parts? Well, that's what the customer's paying for, so I'm gonna go with... yeah? <laughs> Get out of here. This is one of those super easy jobs. Like, no work required at all. Don't even have to like replace any of those like rusted hanger straps or whatever. Boom! Job done. For two hundred and some odd credits, but I, how much? Did I, I wish I could tell how much I spent on the parts to fix it. I guess I, I guess I spent around two hundred. I made like no money on this job. <laughs> what did I make? A hundred bucks? <laughs> this is live! Oh my god! Hey, Wu Eric, how you doing? Just use some flex tape for the body. That's right. You can fix everything with flex tape. You're so smart. I need bonus credits. There we go. Uh, brake system and other tasks. All right, we'll take it. Hopefully I got enough money. <laughs> I need to get that repair table so I can try to, like, make some fake cash. Change brake fluid. Okay. These are relatively cheap, I guess. This'll do. I wonder what would happen if you end up with a bunch of customer cars in your garage and you have no cash. Does the game are you just stuck? Like the game over, man? Or are we able to like abandon a a, a job? I wonder. Finish. Oh, you can finish an incomplete order. Okay, so you you wouldn't be completely stuck, I guess. That's probably good. <laughs> uh, did it say change the brake fluid or just say change brake fluid? Okay. Oops. He's out of here. Clearly we need uh we need some ABS going on here. Both of those. Module and pump, yeah. Get the fluid out. Hey Derek, how's it going? Are you uh Derek, are you meeting up with Josh and I on uh what is it, the thirtieth? The Monday? I did empty that, right? There we go. <laughs> now it's empty. You were at 1044 before fixing the car. Yeah, so I made like less than 100 bucks. That's brutal. Yeah, we're breaking everything today. Did you get a loan from Vinny's, uh, Vinny's house of re re reputable businessmen? You believe so? Nice. It was good to see you guys. I haven't seen you guys in years. What happens when you live the life of a hermit? Vinny's house of reputable businessmen. <laughs> Where it's definitely not a scam. Fat Tony. Uh, disc pads and caliber. Oh, they couldn't all be on one wheel, could they? <laughs> I gotta go to... Well, two different wheels. It's, it could be worse. I thought for sure they'd be spread out to, like, cross three. With this guy. Okay, great. I got your attention. Uh, what, my attention or someone else's attention? This guy? You know, he's that guy. <laughs> you talking about this guy, me guy, or some other guy? I'm just, a, I'm just some weird guy on the internet playing games. <laughs> Anyone. <laughs> Break disc. Uh, this is the one with the pads, too. And the caliper was on the other side. Don't you wish you could get parts on credit? Yes, uh, actually, that would probably be a good feature. Should you know what? I should be making a list of all these ideas so we can send it over to them. I just can't do it while I'm playing the game. I'm too lazy to go back and watch the stream to like break them all down again. <laughs> what happened to the fender? Uh, they probably messed it up a little bit, but it's not on my job order, so I guess they can't afford to fix it. They're going for the critical parts. 
Critical parts only. Uh, all right, module. Oop, that's, that'll be in electronics. Bloop. ABS pump. Bloop. Oh, crud. That's 950 bucks? <sighs> can't win. I can't win. Can I at least fix the brisk? Okay, those are only 70. How was that pump so much? I, I think I can sell some other parts that are just like kicking around in my inventory and get enough money for the the pump. <laughs> Brokest mechanic ever. Uh, all right, let's sell everything that's below like 50%, I guess. These will be parts from the other car too. I don't even know. Okay. Not gonna be up to 781. Okay, that's not bad. I gotta, I gotta make a point of like Selling off garbage a little bit more often, I guess. Uh, it was the pump I needed, right? Yeah, nine hundred and fifty. Oh, that's not enough. I don't, I don't have enough. <laughs> I don't have enough. Ah. We'll put together what we can, and then I'll sell more stuff. But that other car, I took parts off of it that aren't broken that I need to restore, and I probably just sold some of them because I wasn't. Pin oh boy. Oh boy. <laughs> this story order is going downhill fast. <laughs> Houston, we have a problem. Okay, I have an idea. I know I know I'm gonna fix this. This seems quite realistic. Uh, okay. Let's lower this down. The pump's gotta go in first before the module. So, okay. We got this. Don't worry. Don't worry, it'll all work out fine. <laughs> Let's see, they don't, um, they don't need this front left fender. They probably don't need this mirror. It's kind of ugly anyway. Uh, okay, good. <laughs> We'll just cannibalize the other customer's car. See? And that'll get us, oh my god, a, a pathetic amount of money. Well. Alrighty then. <laughs> 848, huh? What else did this car need to have replaced? <laughs> uh, body parts. Front license plate. Uh, front right fender. Oh, because it's missing. Okay. I can't sell that. Left headlight, left side mirror, right headlight, right side mirror. Oh yeah, those are already missing. Well, shoot. What else can we take off this car that I can pay for later? Don't worry, customer. It's fine. Just don't come looking for your car before I call you to tell it's ready, okay? It's it, It'll be fine. It, don't Don't worry. There we go. Cannibalizing one order to fill another. It's perfect. <laughs> they didn't need those doors anyway. I've just... I've improved their air conditioning efficiency. It's fine. It's fine. <laughs> uh, Okay, now we can get the pump. This customer is going to be so happy with me. We really did everything we needed to to make sure that they were satisfied as a customer. I believe this is what's known as a Ponzi scheme. <laughs> How are you doing body work now? I, I I I wasn't really. I was just stealing body parts off the cell. It's kind of like when you kidnap someone to harvest a kidney, only more in the, the, the automotive sense. They probably won't notice. <laughs> That's not legal at all. Lies. I want oh, I wonder if I'm gonna have to match the paint <laughs> on the on the replacement parts. You think it'll make me? <laughs> okay, I need to... Uh, hold on one second. I need to make a small tweak to our stream. Um, um oh, this is going to be too long of a title. There we go. 
Stream name updated. That's that's probably much more appropriate, I think, <laughs> based on how this is going. <laughs> uh, nobody call the cops, okay? Okay, these are all covered. All right, what are we going to make for this order? Wow, this one paid well. Ka-ching! I mean, I, I did cannibalize quite a few parts, but... Oh, yes, this is all good now. <laughs> If this repair shop's in Detroit, stripping cars like this is totally normal. <laughs> yeah, yeah, but usually the car arrived there under suspect circumstances also. These were honest customers. Sell the engine if it gets too bad. I'm going to have to bring in more customer orders because I still don't have enough money. Um, there we go. More bonus bucks. Knock, knock, knock. FBI, open up. <laughs> Knock, knock, knock. Who is it? Goons. Goons? Hired goons. Oh. <laughs> DOS manifold, knocking noises. All right, I wonder if this one will start. We might be able to take it for a test drive and find some of these parts. Honest customers, you don't know that. All right, fair enough. Fair enough. I don't know for sure. How much do you pay us so we don't call the cops? <laughs> Um, I'm broke. Have you have you seen how little money I have? I had to strip a car in order to finish a job. I can't pay you. Oops. Uh, did I just move that back to the same? I did. Nope. I swapped spots with that car. All right. Whatever. What if you just finish the job as is with it all it's stripped? You sure? Uh, sure they'll charge you for all the parts? You know, that is kind of a good question. I'm curious now. I won't get paid for any of it, but I want... Oh, there's no option. <laughs> it's not giving me the option to, com to, to uh, complete an incomplete order. Maybe because I took off too many parts. Okay, it's that's good though, because they... That would have been like a weird, uh, a weird exploit if you could just strip the car bare and sell it off. All right, we're gonna have to do uh, do a little inspectionating. Dad's old boss used to tell him what uh, tell him to do what the stream is called. But he refused and left them. Oh, really? <laughs> yeah, that's not good. You're doing nothing wrong. The Ford already had that shape before it came in here. Not your fault. Absolutely, it totally arrived here with no doors or anything else on it. Thank you for supporting me in my hour of honesty. <laughs> Breaking news, thousands of cars stolen without a trace. Can level up soon? Oh yeah, we're getting close. Bing. All right, so camshaft to crankshaft we'll wind up having to do on this thing. It looks like the fuel rail's shot. So that'll be another thing. Uh, Found on the road dead, so no great loss. <laughs> I did get the garage expansion, but it doesn't come with anything in it. So I basically wasted $10,000. <laughs> I don't have the repair benches and stuff. Those are all extra. <laughs> Go to jail. <laughs> Times be rich. Check. <laughs> oh, Lord. Rights improve ventilation on work order. <laughs> yeah, the the expanded garage is uh, is over here. So this is the this this was boarded up. I opened that up, and you get this room now. And then in here, when we pay for it, we'll get repair benches. There's a lathe you can get in here. Uh, there's a thing you can get for repairing body panels over there. Um, and then there's like a, a storage area back here. So if you wanted to store excess parts and not have them in your in your inventory, you can put them in there. But we. Uh, we don't have the money to do that right now. I'm I'm a broke mechanic. I spent $10,000 opening up that expansion and I, I don't have any of the parts in there that actually do the repairs. That's right. Everything I need to finish the blue car I don't have. All right. So we found some of the problems. Wow. Not many of them, though. That was horrible. That's all the tests I can run, too. Um... 
In the interest of safety, I should probably pull some of the fluids out of here. I can see down... Uh, you know what? I'll just go into inspection mode. I can already see the parts on the engine that need doing. If you strip down the story car, you may have more money to fill your garage with tools. Ooh, you're right. And then we can just leave the story car out there forever. It's free money. It would take up a spot. We wouldn't have a spot to pull another customer car in. But we'd have two other spots we could do it with, so that would work. Think of the money we'd have. <laughs> you don't need to take the steering fluid out each time. Yeah, I it depends. Uh I don't you're right. I, I don't think the steering fluid actually impacts anything. The coolant does if you take the the water pump off or the uh, the radiator off. So I'll probably have to empty the coolant this time. Is a low on BMW with uh, inline six. Is that what it is? As far as I could tell, it was a. Uh, oops. What do they call it in here? The FMW. <laughs> it's not a BMW. It's an FMW. <laughs> FMW Panther Mark One. Uh, that's not right. There we go. Inspect. Yeah, water pump is a bad part. I'll have to, uh, I'll have to drain the, uh, the coolant, but that's okay. I may not have enough money to fix this one. There's a lot wrong. Using story cars as loans, definitely crimey. Yeah, I, I mean, when we have enough money, we can go ahead and complete the story order. It's just... Nobody tell the customer why the car is not ready yet. I need everyone's promise on that. <laughs> I don't think I, I might not be able to afford to fix this one. Oops. Oh, God, I keep doing that. Okay, what does it say now? There's still parts not discovered. Okay, let's get in here. We'll start start taking stuff apart. Um, hold on, I gotta I gotta deal with that music. That's just killing me. Ugh. Can't win. That's the washer fluid. <laughs> Don't want to do that. <laughs> Good morning from Manchester, UK. Hello in Manchester. You may have to moonlight at the dance club to pay off your, your card head off, right? If only you could go into debt. It, it requires you to have the cash. We ain't got no monies. I'm broke over here. Uh, fuel rent. Oops. Uh, there we go. Unmount parts. Let's start building a shopping list, I guess. These are all from the other car. Fuel rail's gotta go. It's got to go. Oh. Exhaust manifolds. So we need, those are both the same, it looks like. Front exhaust section. That's gotta go, too. In a lot of ways, it's easier when you're doing your total total car rebuilds from just stuff you get from the junkyard. Because you're just stripping off everything, and anything that's not in good shape, you replace it. Versus the customer cars, where they only want to deal with certain things. <laughs> Don't see any rust? Nope, they're rust-free. These parts are pristine. Just like they came out of the store. Right, let's get down front here. This is going to come off. Take parts until it's not possible to dump the order so you make money for it without spending. <laughs> That's gotta go. It's gotta go. I mean, ideally, I would like to. Uh, I'd like to fix it. Oh, I I can see the air filter needs changing. <laughs> Look at that thing. <laughs> All right, unintentional discovery, but uh, that works. Uh, yeah, water pump pulley's gone. Water pump's gotta go. The 
Okay, uh, that takes care of that. I think I need to lift the car up because we got a few things under here to deal with. Take a look at the wheels here. Bearings and everything look fine. Brakes and discs look okay. First time seeing seeing plastic components rusting. Oh, you didn't watch uh, Car Mechanic Simulator 2018, did you? <laughs> There were even uh, modded cars that um, that were in the uh, the Steam Workshop that the, most of the car was plastic, like the whole body and stuff, and uh, they'd be all rusted too. <laughs> they just represent all damage in the game with rust, as opposed to uh, like defining the damage in any way, visually anyway. Okay, these look fine. Is that pad okay? Yeah, it's okay. All right. Brake pads are fine. I have a sneaking suspicion I'm going to wind up having to get into the engine to find the other problems. Oh. Nope. Okay, it's good. I thought the brakes might be a little messed up there. Those are fine, too. I don't know about the bushings and stuff, but... Okay, let's go shopping. Uh, well, first, I should probably clear out everything that's, uh, busted. Sell parts. Everything below, let's say, an 80% condition. It's gonna get, it's gonna wind up selling some of the story parts from that other car, too. <laughs> uh, we'll deal with our exhaust stuff first, maybe. Oops. Um, exhaust manifolds, we need two of those. Bloop. Are those parts? Those are relatively cheap, at least. Those been are done. Front and Zox section. That can... Try that. Oh, fortunately, these parts are all... These are all relatively cheap parts, so this is fine. We'll be alright. Got plenty of cash for this. Did I get the Idle Roller A? I can't remember if I did or not. I kind of bought them out of order. Yeah, we got one. <laughs> That's one from the other car, but whatever. We'll use it. We'll save the money now. We'll, we'll spend it later. Sure, they, again, the customer won't know. They'll actually end up with a better part. They'll end up with a 100% part. And uh, this customer will suck it up and take the, the, the slightly used part. It's fine. We'll tell them we use the new part because, you know, we need to build them for it. Level up, don't forget to spend your free points. I have uh, I have one point, I need two, because I, I need to get this renovator skill right here. Uh, once I get renovator, then over here I can buy the uh, the workbench. See, it requires the um, uh, renovator upgrade, and so does the body panel one. So I need to level up again before I spend any points. Uh, I have a feeling I'm going to put these parts back on and then find out I have to take them off again. To get into the engine. I don't have the necessary parts. Oh, crap. <laughs> oh, they were the same. What was I thinking? Just wasted some money. Well, doesn't that just beat all? I didn't even notice it was an A and a B, and I don't know why I didn't notice. Aside from the fact that I, I lack the powers of observation. <laughs> I have four points? Are you sure? Oh, I'll go look. I thought I only had one. <laughs> uh, yep. There we go. <laughs> I, was, I, I swear to God. It takes a special kind of stupid to be as blind as I am. Um, I don't care about parking spaces. Oh, there's two renovator levels. Ability to fix parts from group three. Oh, I already had a renovator skill. I only needed a little bit of renovator. Ah, oh, jeez. I was waiting on nothing. Okay, these all require three points. Uh, I guess we, should, we can cut our examination time, I guess. I don't really care about moving faster. We'll do that. Bing. Whatever. We'll save the other point. 
Telling you, it takes a special kind of stupid to be as stupid as I am. Oh, fuel pump. That's uh, at the back here. Whoop. This has got to go. <laughs> it's the nature of playing a game while I'm trying to like talk and read chat and everything at the same time. I sometimes um, just mess stuff up entirely. In the course of normal gameplay, I don't. Because all of your attention is focused on the game. Um. No, Roth Roth is fine. So I still have several parts I haven't identified as a problem yet. Which means I th I'm almost certain I'm going to need to have to take something apart here to find it. I, I know the air filter is a problem. So we can address that. Actually, what condition is this in? Sixty-eight. It wasn't bad. Okay, right, air filter. Watch it be like clips or something. No, they're actually all decent. Spark plugs are bad. Uh, they didn't come up on the list, even though I tested. I thought I tested the electrical system. Where the heck are they? <laughs> they're all hidden. Oh god, here they are. God, I'm blind. Hmm. You know what? I'm gonna start. You know, I'm just gonna start pulling stuff apart. Let's find out. Grab it all. Now the spark plugs are fine, but I bet you if we pull, start pulling stuff apart here, we'll find like timing gears and stuff that need work or something. Cam gears. Camshaft, crankshaft are bad, so you need to open the engine. Oh, was that on the list? I didn't even notice. <laughs> yeah. Oh, you're right, it wasn't there. Really. Alright, so one way or another we were going we were talking into this thing. Uh spark plugs are all fine. I need. I don't need to pull this off, but we're going to check anyway. I got the fuel pump at the back already. The uh, fuel filter appears fine. Looks like we got a, uh, a couple of the caps here that might need doing. There's at least one here that's bad. Two. Three. Oh, okay, so we're as we pull the caps off, we're going to start to get... We're just going to start to figure out parts we need to replace anyway. So that's okay. Everything under here is fine. What have I got to pull off here for... Oh, there we go. The timing chain. So I need... Uh... One, two, at least three of these. If I recall correctly, uh, you have the crankshaft to do the on to do on this as well, which means uh, do, uh, do I? Oh no, I mean I got I got to drain the uh, I got to drain the oil and take a look underneath then. No camshaft, camshaft pack, cap. Ugh. I do have a crankshaft to do. Okay, I need to drain the oil. Maybe there'd be like a piston in there I gotta deal with too. 
Told you. Yeah, you were right. <laughs> Loved your pooped yourself clip today. Oh yeah, that was that was fun. That's the first uh, the first YouTube short I put up. I thought uh, I thought I'd give it a whirl and just see how it does. <laughs> Little something different to do. Um, okay, I need to um, I need to get this up and get the oil out. Did I drain the oil? No, I didn't. Don't even lie to me. I did not drain the oil on this card, did I? I mean, I might have. <laughs> They're all blending together now. Oh, rabbit, you liar. Didn't I put another short on before? No, I've uh, not as a short on YouTube, no. I, I have other other short clips that I've put on like Twitter. Um, stuff that I've posted in the community section, but not something I've actually put on YouTube as a as a as like an actual short. What the heck do I... Oh, I gotta pull off the power steering pump, which means I gotta drain the... <laughs> Stop it, car. This was supposed to be an easy fix. How dare they make it not easy. This better pay me well. I gotta drain the uh, power steering fluid because we gotta get the power steering pump off. How many times have I dropped the 10 millimeter? Oh, sh I can't even find the 10 millimeter. Somebody stole it again. Rotten. Steelers. Uh, let's see, I need to put that camshaft on the shopping list. Wait a minute. Timing chain shot too. Found that by accident. No filter already dealt with. All right. Oh my god, this weird music again. Okay, I, I can't deal with it. <laughs> I, I need a new station. Oh, shoot. I raised the car, but I can have it down. Speaking of sealers, how many doors does that car have outside? <clears throat> They're, um, they've been removed for maintenance. Um, the customer didn't ask for them, but we realized that there were some structural problems. And in order to engender a uh, customer loyalty, we decided to remove the doors, enact the repairs for them, and replace them at no extra charge. So, you know, they they should be a happy customer because we're we're giving them uh free extra service. <laughs> I gotta put a new filter on here too, I guess. As long as I got the oil out, I might as well do it. <laughs> Perfect PR. You got it. I hope they don't need their car back anytime soon. Because uh, it's going to sit out there for a bit. <laughs> I don't have any cash. Oh, God. The thing's ugly. Uh, caps look okay, at least. I can't tell if the... This stuff's all in the way. I can't see. Um, hopefully the pistons are all right. This is all going to come off of here. We don't speak of the 10 milliliter mythical items such as that are complicated to fathom. <laughs> We've decided uh, from henceforth we shall no longer refer to the 10 millimeter. We shall refer to the cutting torch only. <laughs> what is that? There? There's something there that's rusted. Timing chain shoe. Oh god, there's so much on this car to do. This isn't even a story order, I don't think. Usually it's only the story orders that have like a ton of things. Actually, maybe it is, and I didn't notice. At the crank of the shopping list, thank you. Mm, I can't tell if it's a story order now, actually. Oh, I can finish it right now and get 588 credits. <laughs> the fools. I bet you that is a way to cheat the game. I bet you can strip parts off a car like this, finish this in incomplete order, and sell the parts, and make more money than what you would have made replacing the parts. So if you're looking for a way to exploit the game, that might be it. 
I didn't think it was a story order. I was wondering because it's got so much in it. This is the point of the mechanic quotes, a rebuild motor. Yeah. Yeah, right? How many hours did you spend on that? Uh, too many? Wait a minute. Do I have to take all the pistons out before I can get... Oh, wait, 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 wait. Oh. Doing this all out of order here. See, it runs a little rough, but it's fine. <laughs> I've even taken off things I didn't need to. Uh, can't see past the radiator. Tempted to pull it out just to save the visibility. How do you get stuck bolts in the crankcase? Those parts are bathed in oil. This is along with the WD-40 thing. It makes me believe the devs don't know a car... Well, they probably don't, but they make video games. They're not auto mechanics, I guess. <laughs> it is just one of those things, I guess. Uh, wait, are these differently named? Time to change shoe A. No, they're both A's. I gotta get two of those. Crankshaft has come up from underneath. Ugh. Chunky soup. Mmm, chunky. How much is this game? Oh, so they uh there was apparently a post they made on what on their um on their trailer video that said it would be a $25 game. And then each of the DLCs that add on to the game are another $5 if you're getting it on PC. Uh on uh on console, the you get the electric cars DLC with the uh with, oh, I do have to take the piss. Oh, God, I hate my eyes. <laughs> uh, sorry. On console, you get the Electric Cars DLC with it, so it's a $30 purchase. Um, I don't know if the uh, Nissan DLC will be on console or not. I have to take this whole darn thing apart. Ugh. Okay, I should have just done this in the first place. Just strip the whole thing down. <laughs> this is why I'm not a car mechanic. Incompetence is job one. Does this use real knowledge? Like, well, yes and no. I mean, the, the parts are in generally the right places and everything, so... But, you know, you're not replacing... You're not replacing lifters and stuff. But, although, I didn't have that, I think, in... Uh, they didn't have that in 2018. I just haven't seen a car that has it here. Um, you know, it's simplified. You, you don't have some of the parts. There's none of the lines or electrical wires or anything running around. Vacuum lines, etc. Um, but generally speaking, you can kind of see where the parts are in the engine. Those are laid out correctly for the most part. Oh, what's going on here? Cam gear. This chain's got to come off. Now cam gear. Now cam shafts. Oh god, I just put these on. So like you couldn't you, you you wouldn't really learn how to repair a car by doing this. But you could see where things are generally in the engine and what they're called. Or around the car and what they're called. So I guess you could learn something that way. I'm doing extra steps not needed. Are you sure? Because it says I need to take the uh I need to take the pistons off, I thought. Yeah, see? If I mouse over the, the crankshaft that I want to take out, it's turning all the pistons red, so I have to take those out to take the crankshaft out. So I, I do have to take all this apart. Vehicles are probably based off the published repair manuals? Eh, probably to a degree. Court owner, my wife came back early. I have to pick it up. The car should be fixed, right? I'll go check it out. <laughs> Quick, somebody take the plates off so we can tell them it's not their car. <laughs> Cherry picker would be boss about now. Or a roll of duct tape. I, I, you know, I, at this point, I'd kind of like to just take the engine out of the car altogether and then uh, just deal with it on an engine stand. 
Okay. I have to get the crankshaft from underneath the car. I still there probably is something wrong with the gearbox too. Uh because I think we still have unidentified issues. Oh, maybe not. Uh no, we did get it all. Alright, so we found all the problems at least. That's something. Summon up Cryptic Fox is a new mechanic, and he assures me that everything is fine. <laughs> They're like, wait a minute. Are you talking about you know that cryptic fox guy we've seen on, on the internet? Um we'd like our car back. We needed to take it to a qualified mechanic. Uh oh no. Uh, I gotta get the trans. Uh, I've gotta take the gearbox off so I can get the flywheel off so I can get the crankshaft out. I'm just doing. All right, good times. <laughs> I gotta get it unhooked from the from the flywheel, etc. Um. Yep. This is going. Oh no! I gotta get the starter off, which means I can lower the car again. This is a good one. <laughs> We're having to do all kinds of crazy stuff to this car. This is practically like ripping it apart. <sighs> How is that? <laughs> Why? I have to. I have to remove it from underneath the car, but. I wouldn't be able to access that easily from under the car. One of the bolts would be completely out of reach. All right, whatever. Stupid car. Just pull the block. I can't. I don't have the. Uh, I don't have the engine uh, lift or whatever. Engine crane. whatever you want to call it? Okay, we got this. Man, this is a tough job. I hope I I really better be charging them a lot for this one. At least we're getting good XP. This is the first big job we've had that wasn't a story order. Grew up calling engine always cherry pickers. Oh, car goes up, car goes down, car goes up, car goes down. <laughs> Let elevator go down the hole. Okay. We have now successfully removed the necessary parts. We have three thousand dollars with which to buy what are probably some expensive parts. Uh, camshaft caps. I needed three of these. If I remember. Camshaft. Actually, that's not bad. Timing chain. Oil filter. I didn't really need the oil filter, but whatever. As long as we have the oil out, we might as well replace it. Timing chain shoes, I need two of these. Okay. I think we actually managed to afford all the parts this time. What a novelty. It's when you get into the electronics, stuff gets really expensive. Let's put it all back together now. Total profit, 37 bucks. Wouldn't that be the way? <laughs> We are clearly not billing properly because we're not making bank here. Uh, we should be billing for our time a bit more. Although I guess some of the jobs that I've done were done in like two minutes. So I guess your billable options there are a little bit limited. This is also the, um, uh, the only mechanic scenario you'll see where you have to screw in the bolts on the front of the car by placing yourself behind the rear axle. That's really, really important when attaching the drive shaft. <laughs> okay, let's get under here. Oh no! I gotta lower the car again. Bruh. Flat rate, two hour minute. <laughs> No oh, two-hour minimum, yeah. Damn, you're going to lose even more money when that Ford owner sues you. <laughs> Exciting new feature they've added to Car Mechanic Simulator 2021. Litigation. <laughs> They'll have to put a poster of, like, uh, a poster of a lawyer or something on the wall of my shop. <laughs> Uh, 
Have you taken your car to this man? Contact us and join the class action lawsuit from Dewey Cheatham and Hal. <laughs> You, you might be owed restitution. And you should also have your car checked by another mechanic. Darn, could have sworn I sent my car in with that engine. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> At least I can put the old spark plugs in. Save a little bit of money. Okay, camshaft. We've got to put the, uh, the the older one in the bottom to make sure that we get the right conditions for the one we were supposed to replace. What do, what are the minimum condition parts I have to? Sixty seven percent. Okay, so that's fine. Just wanted to make sure that if I if I didn't put these pieces in, in the right spot, at least I would still get credit. Because whenever there's a whole bunch of parts that are the same, if only some of them needed replacing, you have to meet the minimum condition requirements on the job, otherwise it won't work. So you could put like like a 70% one in one spot and 100% in the other, and then it tells you the job's not done, you just gotta swap the two pieces. It's fine though. Game is a DLC that forces you to flip through a manual to find all the bolt torques. <laughs> oh my god. That level of detail would just be infuriating. I would not want to play that game. <laughs> there would be too many expletives said. I would not uh, I would not get any progress in that game. That Truck Bros game was bad enough. I could never get any progress in that. Haynes manual. Okay, we need to uh, we need to gap the spark plugs accordingly. We need to torque the bolts to the appropriate torque. Uh, we need to make sure we've greased all the appropriate nipples. Mm, nipples. <laughs> and like yeah, Diesel Brothers. That's what I was thinking of. <laughs> that Diesel Brothers game. I'm sure the detail is really great, but I'm not a good enough mechanic to uh, put things in the right order. <laughs> is this the disc version? What do you mean by disc version? Uh, we we ha are you asking if we have it on floppy disk? Um, because I, I I'm fairly certain we don't. <laughs> this is the Steam version of the game. Okay, that's all good. Uh. Our manifolds back on. DLC for removing broken bolts. Oh my god, I wouldn't even want to. I although I, I like I said, it would be neat if you had like uh, scenarios where you had to you had to like use the torch and stuff to heat up parts to remove things or get in there with a five pound persuader. Don't copy that floppy. <laughs> Don't have this game on five and a half inch floppies. Oh yeah, was it five and a half or or five and a quarter? Um, okay, I need this chain in here. Oh, shoot, I didn't get that one yet. And on the list. <laughs> I can't see. <laughs> Not messing with me, car. Timing cover's fine, at least. Bolts lost 50%. <laughs> well, Fox, if you see any cool rims, you can have uh, you can have it. Swap the cheap ones for them. Sweet. I love how I'm screwing in things when I can't even see them. It's fine. Okay. What am I liking here? It's not letting me put the belts on and stuff. 
We gotta finish everything up on the bottom first? Oh, here we go. Diamond chain! That's good. Now we can put the cover on. We don't need no timing chain. See, this? if this was Diesel Brothers, it would have let me assemble that without putting the timing chain in. And then when I went to start the car, it wouldn't work. And it'd be like, there's no timing chain. And then I would have had to, like, take it apart to figure out what I was missing. <laughs> Full engine build. Net profit, $4. I'm really curious to see what it's going to pay me. Because we've, we've basically redone the whole thing. Okay, let's get this up on the lift again. No, hopefully you can clip through my car IRL like in these games. Yeah, it would make things a lot easier, wouldn't it? Identifying stuff would be, certainly be a lot simpler. So many parts, so little time. This is real to real tape version of the game. That's right. We've got this on uh, on cassette. The old cassette saving system. Um, sorry, uh, they they were all out of the version that was on real to real. We had to get the punch card version of the game. Uh, sitting next to my computer, I have a really huge sorting tray full of these little punch cards. Gotta get those all organized in there. Nobody knocked them over because sorting them back in order again is impossible. I think these are bros, uh, the one that... Oh, yeah, I just about rage quit that one. <laughs> Not that it was making me angry, but just I, I didn't know what I was... I didn't know what I was doing enough to be able to... To solve the problem that I was having. I felt like I was stripping the whole car down just to try to figure out what I was supposed to do because I couldn't tell. Whereas with uh, Car Mechanic Simulator, it's it guides you through the process. You have to do things in a certain order. So if if you haven't done something, it points you to it effectively. A little, little bit of a different story. Okay, so I'm still missing an idler roller and the belt. Oh my god, everything else is done. Wow, we even did it with all the money we had didn't have. Back to the engine bay. Just imagine the amount of punch cards that would be needed to install this. Pro yeah, it would be insane, actually. <laughs> be like a massive stack of them. Here's your punch card, sir. Whoops, I dropped them in the fryer. I'll get it. Uh, where am I missing the roller here? Oh, there we go. It's like, why isn't it lighting up what I need to put on? But I was on detach mode, and that is counterproductive. We're almost done. We're almost done. What's a punch card? Uh, I'm assuming you're asking because you actually don't know, but um, computers used to be programmed using these series of cards that had all kinds of holes punched in them. And you had to insert the cards in a certain order in order for the punch cards to build the program correctly. Uh, yeah, it was... Uh, we They weren't a thing when I was a kid, but we used to... But it was soon enough... Before I was in, like, kindergarten, that they used to let us play with the punch cards that they didn't need anymore. Uh, oil. Computer cardboard punch cards, yeah. Best hack for bolts I've found was an amateur home mechanic. Use cardboard as a pattern and stab bolts through it. Where you'll need them works every time. Need to remember to do it. Oh, and then you just hold the template up and you can see where it is. <laughs> it's happening. Everybody stay calm. I put oil in the car. Remember microfiche? Oh, yeah, yeah. Like for old newspapers and stuff at the library, we used to use that all the time. God, I feel old sometimes. Like when I'm awake. <laughs> sometimes even when I'm sleeping. Uh, okay. Boom! That's a good order. Four grand. That'll get us up to 6,400, and I might actually be able to fix that car I have outside. Uh, 
I wonder if I should chance it or do another order first. Because <laughs> if I buy, if I start buying body parts, oh god. If I start buying body parts like kidneys and livers, then uh, things will get expensive. Uh, oops, nope, that's not what I want. Let's see. What kind of car is this? Salem GW500. Let's see what the body parts are like cost-wise for this thing. Uh, that's not what I want. There we go. Salem GW500. Okay, they're not insane, actually. I think I think we can deal with this car. <laughs> oh, my lord. I've done this customer wrong. I did him dirty. I did him dirty. Am I going to paint them? Uh, if they require me to paint them, I'm, I'm just going to have to set the car out and deal with it later. Because I won't be able to. I don't have a paint bay yet. But we'll see what happens. It doesn't there's it's not calling for any paint jobs, so we might we might get away. We we might we might get away okay. <laughs> oh I'm such a bad mechanic. If I ever open an auto shop, I hope all of you will be my customer. <laughs> I'm getting out of the necessary part. Did I sell it? I might have sold it. Get out of here. Uh, either ruler A. Oh, did I not buy it? There we go. Okay, what else have I got to do on this car? Don't need the alternator anymore. Don't need the serpentine belt. Medium intercooler. Where the heck is that thing? Should have the oil pan and stuff still, right? Maybe? <laughs> All you young bucks. <laughs> I used it two cars ago. Oh, did I? <laughs> okay. Oil pan. Okay, that music again. I swear to God. I may be a boomer, but I can't take it. <laughs> it's just... It's awful. That's... Alright, that's passable. That feels more auto mechanic-ish. At least it's got rhythm. Uh, Alright, what else? It's done, that's done. Oh right, I gotta get that tire still. Oh, sh oh, good. <laughs> I was like, I think I sold the tire. But we're all right. We got it. We still have it. Uh, add that to the shopping list. Let's see. Tires. 235, 35R19. Did I get the rims already? I can't remember. I did. Nice. I forgot the flux capacitor. Oh, not the flux capacitor. I'm not old enough to be a boomer. No, I'm technically not. But uh, for younger people, that doesn't matter. The actual age of a person. It's about the... Uh, it's about the insulting age of the person. <laughs> Are they Goodyear tires? No, they don't use brand names like Goodyear. It'd be more like a like a Gadyar tire in, in this game. Good old genuine Gadyars. Uh, balance. Oh, that's interesting. Sometimes it'll takes it takes two, and other times it takes three. Huh. Call Fox a boomer because of the effect it has on his vehicles. <laughs> that's okay. That's that's accurate. I can't. I can't argue with that. It's really weird having stuff lit up this way. Am I? Oh wait, wait, wait! Uh, I took tie rod ends off of this thing, didn't I? And the steering rack. <laughs> I 
Fortunately, we still have the uh, the tie rods. I didn't sell those. You're welcome, Mr. Customer or Miss Customer, whichever it may be. Oh, I did my pattern wrong. Absolutely not how the wheel balancing works. Well, no, but it is a mini game. I mean, you're, you're basically just spinning it and then finding the point you need to attach a weight to the rim of, of the wheel or whatever, but... It, 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 you know what? That's actually, I think that's a really fair criticism. They probably could have done it exactly how tire balancing actually works. That's a weird, that's actually a weird mechanism they gave you there. Like some of the other ones, I could see how they made the, the sacrifice and said, okay, here's the, here's the mechanism we're going to use because you can't really reproduce this in a video game exactly. At least not without it being a colossal pain in the butt, but here's, uh, here's what we're going to do. But in this case, oh, there's the medium intercooler there. Um, in this case, they uh, they really could have uh, just done it that way. My first, my gut reaction was like, ah, oh, it's just a video game. But actually, it, it would have been cooler if they had done it as a proper balancing. And I, that I would have been all for that. That's that would have been cool. All right, uh, lower this down. We'll get the rat in. Fox, the nickname of Boomer is due to that one fatal Taco Tuesday. Oh. You're so funny. One Taco Tuesday. I never learned my lesson after one occurrence. You really want to bang on weights for every tire? Well, but it's effective. But you wouldn't have to physically bang it on. Like, it, it could spin it up and show you where you're placing the weight and the, and the quantity of the weight. And then you just put it on. And the same as, like, most other things in the game. You just click on it, for example. So they could still they could still approximate how it's actually done without giving you a completely different mini game. Oh my god! Shh. Mechanically, I fixed this puppy. I mean, in terms of the body, it's it's still it's it's very um, well. It's it's a little bit uh, a little bit airy, shall we say? It's a Ford Zero Door hatchback. <laughs> with now with bonus air conditioning. Just don't drive it any place that's too hot, otherwise it'll still be really on the warm side. Did I take the oil out of this car? I feel like I did. Where's the dipstick? I need to check it. I, I can't remember if I did. I think I might have. Yeah, that sucker's bone dry. <laughs> we got this. The dream of car guy with a super chat. Er, someone just vandalized cars near my house. Oh, thanks for the super chat, but that sucks. Hopefully they don't vandalize your car. It's a very fancy dune buggy. Effectively, yeah. And you know what? In some states, it's probably still road legal, even without the doors on it. Uh, the f the front, it's probably not road legal, though, because it's not crash-worthy at that point, but... I mean, who knows? Okay. Uh, fluids are dealt with. We just gotta deal with the body parts that I scalped off this thing. John with the super chat. It's overdue. Thanks, John. I appreciate the super chat. Very generous. Don't forget to put the fan back on the radiator. Oh, yeah. Whoops. Thank you for reminding me. I would have forgotten. And I still even had the parts. Isn't that a small miracle? <laughs> I'm really surprised I didn't sell those. Oh man, that air that oil filter I took off that other car was still in really good condition. Um let's uh let's sell everything in here that's not like 94% or something. <laughs> I'll hold on to that manifold. Maybe I can use it for something else. Okay, now we gotta get to the body, and uh, this is where I may have made some minor mistakes, I wanna say. Um, this one, the shopping list is less helpful for, but... Then because it doesn't tag all the parts, really. Got our hood, front bumper, right headlight, left headlight. Uh, the mirrors, for example, aren't showing because I'm not at that point of assembly. But I needed the left and right mirror, I'm pretty sure. 
Okay, oops. Uh, into here. Bodyworks, Salem. Okay, so we needed the front. We need the doors for reasons I can't go into right now. Uh, I sold the hood, so we gotta get that. Left headlight. Uh, left side mirror. Rear left door. Your right door window, headlight, mirror. Okay, I think we got most of it. <laughs> it's gonna be a little two tone. <laughs> I mean, they were expecting some of it to be two tone anyway, but they probably weren't counting on their doors being part of that process. Should have sold the seats and the steering wheel out of it. <laughs> After all the work that's gone into this car, I'm taking it for a test drive, too. Forget this. This took way too long. Dave with a super chat. Holy crap, I just noticed that it had been uh, Mistakes for Made member for a year. Oh, it has been that long. Well, thanks for the super chat, David, and thank you for supporting the channel for so long as well. I'm, I'm glad you enjoy the content enough to uh, still uh, still come to streams and still maintain your membership and everything. I really appreciate that. Could need the glass for all the doors too. I, I bought it though. We got we got it. <laughs> I did sell all the glass, so it's fair. Oh, I didn't get the windshield? What? Is this pardon? Windshield. Okay. I think even though it's ugly as sin, I think I think I got it. <laughs> uh nope, front license plate. Yeah, it's gotta go back on. Probably need to replace it. <laughs> okay, big boy. I don't have the necessary... Did I sell the license plate? Oh, no, it didn't have one. All right. 8IG80Y. Are mods coming on the PlayStation 5? I would not expect mods to be on console. I don't know that I've ever seen mods for a console game. Uh, I could be flat out wrong, but I, I don't know that I've ever seen them. The, the DLCs will be available on the consoles, as far as I know. Because uh, I know that the um, the electric car DLC is part of the purchase price for console, um, but I don't know about uh, I don't I don't think there'll be mods. What what even plates are these? It's a, it's just like a generic non countryed plate. Like what do I what do I buy? Is there a generic one that like isn't related to anywhere? Oh, well, there is standard. Uh, okay. Oh my god, really? The, uh, <laughs> that's not cool. I can't just, I can't just type it in. I've got to like actually flip through the choices. Is it B1G or BIG? B1G80Y. Yikes. Was there a space? <laughs> Come on. This is the I don't okay, this is a mechanism I don't like. There's no space. B1G 80Y. Oh, it's 81G 80Y. God, I, I was doing even that wrong. Uh Oops. There's, I guess there's no zero? Yeah, there we go. Probably quicker to go this way. Okay, we got it. 950 credits. This better be right, because I can't afford to buy a second one. <laughs> Please be right. Please be right. Okay. I think we got it. Everything checks out. Sheesh. Okay. Uh, uh, this car needs to go out front again. I'm gonna take it for a spin. How could there not be a zero? There was. It was just at the bottom of the list. I was expecting it above the nine, not below the one. Okay, so it's fixed. We did another story order, and how much am I gonna get paid for this thing? Wow. Okay. 
No glass in rear? What? No, it's there. We're okay. I didn't take that glass out. I just took the window. I took the windows off the doors, but it didn't, uh... I didn't take the small window off the back, so it's, we're okay. Uh, so I'm getting like 11,000 for this job. Little did they know how much abuse this car took. Intercooler goes in front of the radiator. Yeah, I have it in there. License 8 says big boy. Yeah, but it's spelled with, with numbers instead of B's. Okay, let's go to the racetrack. Because after how long that car took, I, I feel like we deserve a race with it. I'm going to turn the... I got to jump off here to turn the volume down because the car sounds are super loud in this game. You don't have to type a license plate number. It's cheaper. Can you just buy it blank and it'll put the right number on it? If so, that's probably better than what I was doing. Oh, now there's no now there's no car sounds. Hold on. I, I turned it down and it went like to zero. Oh, that's, there's a weird threshold there. Alright, it's gonna be kinda loud. Sorry, everyone. Go off track. I gotta figure out how to get it off track first. I need to find a spot that I can crash and make it flip up high enough that I can get off the track. I haven't done that yet. Keep driving Way to go. Let's see how far we can jump if I like. No, that's that, that's not gonna work. Oh god. No. Oh. <laughs> that one might actually. If I go straight into that bank, I might be able to catch enough air to get over the fence. I'll have to try that. Handling is so much better than in 2018. Oh, that did not that did not give you the bounce I was hoping for. <laughs> I was gonna try and hit and flip over the fence, but it, it didn't uh, really connect very solidly. We need to find like an angled surface we can flip the car on. Nope, that didn't work. <laughs> the squeaking sound is the is the the turbo, I think. Or is it, I think at least it's supposed to be anyway. He needs a wheel controller to run. Yeah. Yeah, a wheel controller would be great for this. Oops, don't hit the handbrake. Ah, oh, that was bad. There were a couple spots on the track in 2018 where you could you could catch a, a weird bump and the car would just flip right up over the fence, but no, it's not it's not doing it for uh, for this one. I gotta find a good spot. It might take a little experimenting maybe off stream one day. Because everything's nothing's really popping me up. Mind you, this also isn't the fastest car in the world, so that, that'll have an effect too. They have some sort, of, some sort of invisible walls. Well, they they might have done that way this time, but last time they didn't. You actually you actually could get right out of the track by flipping in the right spots, and then you could drive around the world outside the track. It wasn't a completed world, but you could do it. I don't I don't see any really obvious jump points though. That was a good bounce, but no air. Come on, 88 miles per hour. What, 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 what gigawatts? Nope, that was just landing low. 
<laughs> yeah, I don't know. I can't, uh, I can't see any obvious spots to flip it. Like I said, I'll have to experiment, I guess. Well, I'll have to look around and see if I can find a spot we can get it out of the track. It was cool to fall through the world. Yeah, you like drove off the edge of the world and just like dropped into nothingness. How can you tell if the car is fast or not? Kilometers per hour is clearly a make-believe measurement system. <laughs> hey, I'm in Canada. I understand kilometers. Hey, Fox. Thoughts on New World? I had a lot of fun with New World, and I'm looking forward to playing it when it comes out. I don't think by any stretch of the imagination it's a perfect game, but as far as games go, I thoroughly enjoyed myself, and that's enough for me. Uh, alright, finish order. Give me them sweet bucks. Look at that, 12,000. God, we're rich again. And by rich, I mean I, I got enough that I can barely complete orders. <laughs> okay, we need, uh, we need to buy some stuff here. Let's get some other things unlocked now. We have the cash for it. Uh, let's do the workbench because I've, I've been meaning to do that. That'll maybe earn us some cash. Ka-ching! Uh, the body repair station is 2,500. Let's do the brake lathe. That's 1,750. We'll get the body repaired for 2,500. And then I should probably, if I were smart, hold on to the remainder for now so I can do customer orders. And that adds three new pieces of machinery here. Or, well, equipment, I guess. So we have the repair table here. Oddly enough, it's kind of a weird setup. So this is a repair table. That's also a repair table, and that's a repair table. And there's two more of them over here. Even though they all do exactly the same thing. I guess they were just filling up the room. Maybe maybe they have intentions of like swapping them out to something else later or something. This is the brake lathe here. I have to lay some brakes and see what we can do to fix those up. <laughs> I have nothing I can even experiment with. And then over here is, uh, is the repair table for the body, which I guess is just for removing dents. So, there's that at least. Oh, this is also a repair table for a body too. Oh, there's two of them. That's cool. This is like a- this is for like metal folding by the looks of it. Fold up some sheet metal. Did the customer leave a Google review about the color of their car? I kind of wish it did have like Google reviews or Yelp or- well, I guess the Yelp equivalent. What is this? Safety instruction. Welder and stuff help. <laughs> stuff- oh my god, this is in another language they've converted to English. Overall warnings. For working on computer, use may be directed to an employee who has qualifications required to work on a designated position, a competent health confirmed by medical certificate. <laughs> and it's got a big red slash through it. As they're like, okay, we don't need any of these conditions. <laughs> Next car wash. We have the car wash already, actually. Uh, ooh, another story car. Car is loud. Let's deal with this loud car. That'll be like a muffler or whatever. Oh, it's a van. Wait, there's a cute van. Look at this thing. Oh my god, I want to paint this thing up like the uh, the mystery machine. I wish somebody has got to put a mod in where you can take this cube van and paint it up like the mystery machine. It needs to be in here. <laughs> there's some serious rust on this thing. Uh, yeah, it's all just exhaust stuff. Psh, sweet. Oh, let's uh. We'll give them a... Well, you know what? We'll help them out. We'll wash their van. Since the washing appears to be free. Sixty-four ninety-seven. And I still have sixty-four ninety-seven. So the car wash is free. No reason not to clean a customer's car if it's free. Or the A-Team van would be good too. Yeah. You take the Dalmatian for 500 bucks. It doesn't, even, it doesn't even show you how much you're going to get for these orders when you do them. Unless I'm just... Am I doing it wrong? Might be. Hold on. Does it show how much it's going to pay? No. It doesn't really show anywhere what it's going to pay. Yeah. Alright, move it inside. Put a unicorn on it, like, onward. <laughs> But then the vans would pity you. <laughs> okay, there's our uh, exhaust manifold. One on each side we gotta take care of. Uh, that's uh, that's the B. Is this the A? No, nope, they're both B. Alright. Score. 
This will be a fast and easy job. I'm glad that other job paid as well, but I feel like if they were going to give us $11,000 to fix that beat-up Ford Focus, they might as well have just gone and bought a new car. <laughs> that made no sense. Try to repair the body? All right, we'll give it a whirl. Let's see what happens. Um, take the right fender off. Uh, grab the left fender. We'll just start with these. I, I don't know if I've upgraded enough of the repair options uh, to be able to repair these things. Ooh, I do. Oh, no. Uh, require upgrade renovator six. I am a long way off of being able to repair those. I think I have Renovator 2. So, a lot of work to do before we can do those. Bloop. Get out of here. Oh, jeez. Uh, lost Manifold. I need two of these. Wait a minute. Do I have one already? B8 OHV B... No, different. Totally different. Oh, I got a crate there. I forgot about the crate. Oh my god, I can't deal with the music. Stop it! There we go. <laughs> BA don't matter. What's this now? Can you try to fix parts too? Uh, not to buy the... Oh, yeah. I, I, I could actually. <laughs> See as though I just got this repair... Oh, I don't have any parts I can fix. So that... Yeah, that answers that question. Um, so in here, there are um, a number of different levels for things that you can fix. I've got the first two levels. So I can do uh, parts up through group two. But I need to get significantly higher up. Well, before I can fix actual body parts, I gotta get all the way up to the top one. Wow. That's gonna take a lot of leveling. It's gonna take a whole lot of floor and marge. Can you make your own custom radio station by putting audio files in a folder? 100% you can, yeah. So that, in, in that instance, you would choose this one over here, the user radio number one. Um... But I don't have any. Uh, I don't have any any music uh, in that folder, uh, particularly because I, I'm trying to avoid copyright issues. So I'm gonna need to get like some copyright free music I can put in there. Boom, debat, boom, debat. <laughs> but yeah, like if if you're playing the game by yourself, for example, and you just want to pop in your own music, I mean, obviously you could just turn your own music on your computer. You don't really need to do it through their radio. You could. Turn the radio off and play your own music. But you could also run it through their radio if you wanted to. I don't know that there's any benefit to doing that, but... <laughs> okay, this one's already done. Done like dinner. A few credits, nothing big. I just, I'm, I'm avoiding that story order only because I'm concerned about how much it might cost. And so I'm trying to, like, just pump up our money. Uh, sloppy steering, all right? Bonus credits for that one. I'm taking it. Sloppy steering, sloppy car. Makes sense. Parts not discovered. Well, well, well. That means we should go for a test drive. Probably don't need to, but we're going to do it anyway. Watch Jesse James shape metal. That guy is a just a wizard. Oh yeah, load an audiobook? Oh, that's not a bad idea. Just pop in an audiobook. Be like working on a car, and it's all like call me Ishmael. I actually like the idea of doing an audiobook while you're working on that. That'd be a good idea. I couldn't do it in on a stream or anything because a it would probably put people to sleep, and b I'd run into copyright issues, but. If you're just playing the game yourself, it's a good idea. You get a little more pep than some of the cars we've been driving. Uh, gonna be tie rods or sway bar lengths. 
or the sway bar itself, maybe? It also could be the steering rack. Let's find out. Outer tie rod, sway bar, rear end link. Yep. <laughs> it was the tie rod ends and links, as you predicted. I mean, we probably could have seen it just by putting it on the hoist, because the, they would have been rusted parts, but it's fun to take it out to the test track. Get her up there. It didn't run anything. What? I don't always crash. I just mostly crash. Don't listen to Moby's censored. <laughs> you mean you, you mean I, I shouldn't listen to Moby's Richard? Ready when this car is only displaying Japanese. Oh, was it? I didn't even notice. That's funny. Oh, uh, should actually clear up my shopping list a little bit. All right, tie rod, and then the uh, the links back here. Looks like it's on this side. Oh my God, I can't even zoom out properly. See, oh no, that's actually just a rusted bolt there. Bloop. There it is. We got it. Get that tire off. You're not gonna give a complimentary car wash in detail. Uh, you probably should. I'll do it after I do the work. Because I don't want to make the inside of the car dirty as I get in and out after I've already cleaned it, right? I'll wait until after I do the work this time. <laughs> Box, do you know how much uh, vehicle maintenance I uh, in real life or just what you've absorbed through this? Um, I mean, I have not had to have any repair work done on a car in a very long time. So I have no idea what current maintenance costs would be like. I, whoops. I totally clicked on something I shouldn't have. I would not count on the, the costs in this being reflective of reality. Because you're usually paying an hourly rate for the work plus the cost of the parts, and then that rate will vary depending on you know what kind of a shop you're in and stuff. Uh, okay. Slap it. You know what? I'm buying the parts automatically, and I should be checking to see if I can fix them. No, <laughs> there's there's gonna be an awful lot that I can't fix, I guess. I might just say, maybe I should just save time and assume I can't do them until we get a, a couple more levels in. It tells you you can do like class one parts or something, but it doesn't really define what those are. Oh, wait a minute. Are they the same size? Yep. Fun fact some jobs charge in uh, an e car lift fee. Oh, yeah. Well, sometimes there's this, there's disposal costs for certain parts and et cetera, et cetera. General rule here is U.S. labor is $100 an hour. Oh, is it? Yeah, like I said, I... Oh, my God, I clicked on something I shouldn't have. Um, I haven't had to take a car in for work in a really long time, so I'm actually not sure what it's like around here for costs anymore. I bought a new car when, uh, when we bought our house, like, six years ago. Um... And then the office, the uh, the office I was working out of was in the same the same city that I live in, so commute times were relatively short. And then I started working from home, and now I I, I hardly drive my car at all. Is that the right table? I think there's another one. Well, there's a whole bunch of tables, but I think they all do the same thing as far as I've seen. So this was just called oh that's repair. Oh, you're right. That's a body one. I don't have the parts anyway. So you're right, this is the this is the body repair table. And so is this. And so is that. I, I wonder if they all do the same thing. Yeah, it was totally the wrong table, but I don't I don't have the parts anyway, so that's that's good. Yeah, consequently the car that I bought like six years ago, I have basically no mileage on. <laughs> 83 credits. They're not getting a car wash for 83 credits. Forget that. That order was cheap. Now let's get the story one. Bring on the story order. Hey, all the way from Alabama, USA. Well, hello in Alabama. Yeah, I kept going to the body part one, but I didn't have the other parts anyway. Oh, and actually, I should just sell everything. Oh, we should open that crate, too. Uh, everything below... whatever, 93. Sell. Set. Set. 
Bonus XP and bonus scrap, which I still haven't figured out the use for in this game. Items. Okay. Okay. This one is going to be a big one. Holy cow. Should have read the story. <laughs> Hi, it's me, Johnny Johnson. Remember? I visited you soon after you opened up the repair shop. See, the business is good. I hope I can take partial credit for it. I was very satisfied with how quickly you work, and I thought you could use some advertising. Okay, going back to business. I have a terrible case here for you today. I snapped it up cheap from some kid. He wasn't really aware what he was driving and how much it was worth. But his lack of interest in the car is pretty obvious. Yeah, it, it kind of shows. Please take care of the bodywork and the interior. Oh, God, no. This car definitely... Uh, this car definitely needs it. While you're at it, Check the clutch and suspension elements. I have doubts about them. Do we have to do, but don't go overboard. It's supposed to work and look acceptable. But I don't want to go broke. Yeah, me neither. <laughs> I still want to make some money from it. I hope we're clear on that. See you. Repair or replace body parts. I mean, if I could repair the body parts, that would be better, but I can't. Change the oil. Other fluids and stuff. And then whatever mechanical issues there are with it, it looks like there are a lot. Oh my god, look at this thing. What did I just get myself into? <laughs> I'm taking this thing to the car wash. Because I just need to be able to see the parts. <laughs> they're like, they're pretty much obscured by the, uh, by the dirt on this one. Poor skyline. Yeah, it's looking a little better now. Get the interior clean too, why not? Time to hit the junk garage for parts for this one. Yeah, the trouble is, though, I can't repair the parts. So, they got to be minimum condition 71%. What kind of car is this? Ribson Starline. <laughs> Ribson. Um, yeah, I mean, I we could try the junkyard, but the, li the likelihood we would find what we need. I need, uh, what do I need on this thing? Uh, maybe we will hit the junkyard. We might get lucky. We might find a couple parts anyway. So for the body... Front bumper, left door, left door window, left fender. Right door, right door window, fender, hood. Yeah, there's quite a few body parts here. Oh God, it's like the whole thing. Alright, let's go. We'll hit the junkyard. We'll see what we can find that might be useful. But it's got to be a minimum condition of 71% or we can't take it. Because I can't repair the body parts yet. And Ribson Starline is the car type. So off to the junkyard we go. See if there's anything you can repair first. Um, yeah, I mean, I don't know. There might be some things you can do with it on the other tables. I'd have to get all the body parts off and check, I guess. To take the parts off so you know what to look for. Yeah. Yeah, whatever. Ribson Starline. I mean, I guess I could compare it to what I have in my inventory at that point. Bum, bum, bum. Again, it's gotta be... Oh, Ribson Starline front bumper. Psh. Okay. Ribson Starline right body window for 70... That's 73%, so that's good enough. Alright, this probably was a good idea. <laughs> I was like, we're going to wind up looking everywhere and then not find anything we need, but we already got two parts we can use. be nice if you could access your parts list from the junkyard. It would be, uh... That would be very handy. Now, um, in this case, I need almost everything, so... Ribs on Starline Hood. Oh my god, we're getting everything we need here. I wonder if the, ju if the game just knows that you're looking for a particular car and, like, supplies you with the parts you need. For this kind of a job, because it's a story job. Actually, I probably should have... Yeah, you know what, Rabbit? I probably should have taken the parts off first, because then I would know if there was any mechanical parts I could have grabbed. Barn location map. Okay, I didn't know you could find that out here. Ribson, Starline, front bumper we already have, that's fine. That one's toast anyway. Ooh. Oh, a station wagon! Oh my god, I want it. Delray High Road. For when you really want to take the high road. $9,489. That's money I don't have. 
Junkyard saw the sucker, or I mean customer, a mile away. <laughs> yes, yes, they did. Ooh, 89% rims. I didn't even notice what kind of rims were on that car. Yeah. Ripset Starline, front left door window. This was a good idea. Saw someone else find a whole crate in a junk pile. Oh, really? That's cool. Like one of the bonus crate things? Man, I haven't seen a wagon like that since the 80s, right? It's been a while. Classic. Salem Earthquake. Hmm. Rips up Starline right headlight. It's only 56% though. Can't take it. I hope these pieces I'm getting aren't like totally bumped up. <laughs> A whole bunch of like dented body parts. Nope. Those are Buick from around 95. Oh, the station wagon? Oh, really? We used to, when I was a kid, we used to drive up to, uh, to go camping up north in, uh, in a station wagon. All the kids would pile in the back and we'd have, like, pillows and blankets and stuff back there so we could lounge around. Now our parents would get pulled over and ticketed if not arrested for it. <laughs> you kind of can't do that anymore. I should have looked at what seats were in that car. Hmm, because I have to do the interior, I think, also. We might make another trip back to the junkyard, depending on what we find here. Rips on Starline right headlight. Ooh, what's this? Takura Supa! It's Supa! It's also 15 grand. We're, uh, we're shopping on a budget today. We don't have that kind of money. The old days like that were great. Yeah, I mean they were. <laughs> I don't know if uh, if there was like an inordinate number of uh, fatal accidents or anything, but it was awfully nice when you were a kid to be able to chill out that way. What is this? Delray Winchester. Ain't that a snazzy piece of car? Eighty-eight hundred bucks. Again, uh, I can't afford any of these things. Toyota Supra Mark Three. Anyway, the one of the Fast and Furious. Was oh, that what that was? I don't know cars super well. I are not brains. That was weird. It wouldn't let me click for a minute. Uh, blah, blah, blah. La Quad Fret. Don't need that. Is this part of the same pile? No, it's not. Salem Spectre Fastback Front Bumper. I really want to restore this thing. Like, they should... I really hope they add this into the game. If not, somebody needs to mod that in. <laughs> That'd be great. You used to sleep in the back of the station wagon on lawn trips. Yeah, we used to do that as well. Or, and same thing with, like, the minivan or whatever. The station wagon was great that way. It was also good for driving movies. I don't know cars super well, says the guy running the repair shop. That's right, Tyler. Welcome to Cryptic's Auto Service, where professionalism is never job one. I've said before, when you bring your car to my shop, you may or may not get it back with all the parts it arrived with. <laughs> I always give you back, though, a bag with the leftover parts. All the leftover nuts and bolts we didn't need. <laughs> There's a sledgehammer there. Oh, this would be fun to restore, too. Okay. I think we've checked most of the junk piles here. We got a few parts, anyway. That's a plus. And I don't even have to fix them, because they're in decent enough shape that I can just slap them in the car. Okay, I have no idea how to go about... 
paying for what I got. There's like a shopping list here I can see. So this is what these are the things I grabbed. I guess if I just leave, it'll charge me, maybe? Turn the garage. Oh yeah, there we go. So 6300 Ooh, that hood is expensive, man. Can I haggle? Is there a haggle option here? 94 credits for that. So it's going to cost me a uh, summary. Full final price discount. So I get 984 credits for these parts. Is that much of a savings? I don't even know. All right, whatever. Buy the parts. FD RX-7 are the best. Can't spell professionalism with Fox. <laughs> Isn't that the truth? Uh, who's a custom hood for that car? Was it? Is that why it was so expensive? Oh, that's not good. Oh, it is a custom hood. Ah, oh, I got them. All right, I just spent way more on that hood than I needed to. I bet. Uh, what can I sell it for? Six fifty-two. So three hundred less than I paid for it. <laughs> Stupid thing. What's what's it cost me for the actual regular one? Groups on Starline. Oh, it's nice. It puts the car that I'm working on in the top left. That's really handy. I don't have to look for it. 800 credits. So, I saved some money on some parts, but they paid, they're paid. they going to pay more for that custom hood I'm putting on it. But that's okay, I guess. I'm not the one paying the bill. <laughs> I'm not even sure I can use it on that car. Oh, no. I know. Sure can. Okay, all the body parts I'm gonna I'm gonna rip off this thing. Oh, you know what? I need to I need to get the body welder so I can fix the body. I have to unlock that thing, and that's expensive. How much was it? Was it twenty five hundred? Five thousand. Okay, this might be a story job we can't complete again, or I'll have to do it like half-assed. <laughs> Some of it's just going to go unfinished, I'm afraid, Mr. Customer. Ooh, look at the inside of it. Yeah. Alright, well, we'll strip down what we can. I'll see if there happens to be anything here I can actually rip apart, because that would be handy. Rear license plate. Tail lights? Are those any good? Oh, I can't even inspect the body parts. That's weird. Oh, it's missing tail lights on this side. Well, we'll take a moment. We'll actually be able to see if they're broken that way. 24%, yeah. <laughs> they needed a doing anyway. Oh boy, this thing is ugly. Let's see if there's any of these body parts I can fix. I have, like, ability to fix some things. Oh, there we go. Nope. Nope. None of that. Is this any, is this table any different? Why does it give me... There was a thing for fixing body parts at a lower level, I thought. But maybe I... Maybe I'm wrong. It all said... Oh, yeah. See here. Body parts are up there. Oh, crud. Just strip it down, right? Yeah, I'm going to strip the whole thing down. This whole car is going apart. That way we can find everything that might be an issue. We can potentially fix some of it. The trouble is, uh, he doesn't want me to fix necessarily everything. Hmm. Oh well. Drain all the fluids first. Back bumper. Oh, did I miss the back bumper? I'll have to grab it. For the hood, you may not be able to use it for that job. Oh, I see what you mean. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I guess we'll see what happens. You're right. It might require just the base hood. Like, it'll go on the car, but the it may not satisfy the order. Pairs based on the star level of the part, I assume. I think? Oh yeah, maybe. Yeah, because it's got 
Oh, I never even noticed the star levels. But the body parts are different, I guess because they're all, um... They all require that top tier. So it looks like every part... Yeah, you're right. Look at you with your smarts. Why are, why are some of them fixable? Okay, alright, well, whatever. I don't know. I think you're right, though. It's, that sounds right, anyway. Let's just start ripping the whole thing apart. Get it right down to brass tacks. That battery is toast, too. Uh, I think I can get a battery charger that'll restore it, though. Yeah, battery's at 1%. So the battery charger is relatively cheap. And I could use it for more than one than just this one thing. So we'll buy that. Now where does it go? Oh, there it is. Stick our battery on there. That'll fix that up. Oops. What do I got to remove on this thing here? Oh, that intake manifold's really up and over. Yeah, I'll, I gotta take the oil out too, you're right. Thank you for reminding me. I can't really afford a mess. <laughs> I guess I, I can't pay for it. I wonder if there'll be any of these parts that we can fix. Get her up. If it has oil, they pretty much always have oil. Unless there, unless the oil pan is missing from the bottom of the car, it pretty much always has oil in it. Even if it's not a lot. Yeah, that one actually got quite a bit. Stripping from the top for now. On the plus side, by, by pulling all the parts off too, it'll identify all the things we need to replace anyway. Car should be red. The whole thing. <laughs> you know what? I, actually, um, we should get the experience out of identifying it. I've already started to pull stuff off, but I really should do this. Just because it'll give us bonus XP. Because we got the points for identifying it, but also for taking it off the car. Because we're going to strip the whole thing down anyway. The engine needs to be complete to perform this action. Okay, we won't be doing that one. <laughs> it's funny, you never have to empty the fuel tank. Isn't that true? Yeah. Oh, I leveled up. Nice. So that'll give us another, uh, another the, one of those crate things. Uh, <laughs> let's check our tires. <laughs> Do a compression test now with the engine open. <laughs> Absolutely, I'm sure it works fine. That's how cars work, right? Fuel pressure test. Uh, yep, that, that's obviously not working either. Okay. Um, yeah, anyway. Keep pulling stuff apart. Should get some decent XP out of this. Oh, I want to do the crate actually too. Hold on a minute. Hold on, how many points have I got here? Four points. Uh, let's keep going with the repair ones. I want to try to build this one out. I know it's it, it like the screwing parts is really really handy because it saves a little bit of time. But the more I could repair, the more I could potentially save, and then uh, the more money we can put in our pocket. Because we kind of need to get ahead on the cash a little bit. Oh, and I, I should do that crate too, I guess. Where's the crate? Oh, did I not get a crate for that level? I thought every level gave you a crate. Oh, well, that's lame. Alright. I guess not every level does. These some, some ignition coils need replacing. Spark plugs.
this is like CMS uh, 2018. Only parts 15% and above can be fixed. Yeah, it's most likely true. Was I in cell mode? No, I wasn't. No, this is just all my stuff. I just, I just hit I for inventory and it uh, showed me everything I had. Normally that's where the crate shows up. Retrast can save you having to pull apart the bottom of the engine. I I believe you. <laughs> I'm uh, going to wind up doing it anyway. Especially since I already started pulling the car apart before I decided to test it. As every true mechanic would. Start ripping things off before you know what you need to take off. Absolutely, that's how mechanics work. <laughs> Looks fun. If you like these kind of these kind of chill, relaxing games, this is one of the best simulators I think out there right now. I might be biased though, because I really like Car Mechanic Simulator twenty seven or twenty eighteen as well. And the small quality of life changes they made in this, I'm a big fan of. But apart. Well, that's an interesting stream title to see. <laughs> uh, yeah, if you're just arriving at the stream now, or you, or just recently, uh, <laughs> we were doing a, <laughs> we were doing a story order earlier, and I ran out of money, uh, and so I was like, okay, I, I need to bring in another customer car, so that we can do that customer order and then finish the story order because I need to make a little more cash. And then I ran out of money on the new customer order, and we ended up stripping the story order car down of some body parts to sell, so we could put a little bit of extra cash in our in our account to finish out the the, the extra order that I took on. <laughs> yeah, so uh, nobody tell the customer because they they seem to be oblivious, even though they brought the car in with blue doors and they got it back with black doors, and they didn't ask us to do it. Um, but they didn't complain, so. You know, therefore, it, it never happened. <laughs> shady. That's not shady. That's that's those are those are reinforcing business practices. That's that's um that's entrepreneurism. That's what that is. <laughs> it's not shady. Look at it this way. They brought in a car with body panels that were not at exactly brand new condition, and they got one back with one that did have brand new condition. I feel like I increased the value of their vehicle, even though they didn't ask me to. And we didn't charge them any extra for the doors. I don't. I don't think. Actually, I don't. I don't know how the game treats it. I wonder if it did charge them for the doors. <laughs> I wish it would itemize the bill so you could see what you actually charge them for. Because I did give them brand new doors, even though they didn't ask me for them. Now I really want to know, actually. <laughs> uh, all vehicles are straight six. No, we have, there's some. Uh, we've done some V8 engines. We've done some inline fours. They're not all. Uh, they're not all straight six. There are. Um, there's. I think 72 games or uh, not games. Um, 72 cars available for the game at launch. Uh, it comes out on PC on August 11th. And then on console on August 12th. And I think they said it's going to have 72 cars at launch. And then um, there's there's two DLCs that are uh, coming out on launch day also. Uh, one for Nissan and one for some electric cars. Someone call them Audis. Hey, we uh, we heard you were uh, scalping car parts, eh? You like totally took apart someone else's car and used the money for your own purposes, eh? You're going to have to come with us down to this Canadian jail. But don't worry, we got lots of syrup and beer, eh? <laughs> and I'm like, yes, sir, Mr. Mountie, sir. Bring me the beer. I'm taking everything off. Even stuff that doesn't even look like it needs it. It's coming off. This whole car is getting a once over. Currently 4.40 in the morning in Ireland. Well, hello in Ireland. That's an early morning. Thank you for coming to visit us in the middle of the night.
Ah, once again, I'm impressed by the uh, the wide scope of people that are in the stream in terms of like locations around the world. Always so many cool people around. So many different places. See how much the hood costs new. It's um the brand new hood for the car is uh 800, I think, for the non uh souped up version that we got. I don't know that I should mess with these fuses. The general practice, I would not mess with fuses in the car anyway. Plus, they're all mostly okay. I think I'll leave the fuse box alone. It's fine. Uh, okay, we gotta get under this thing. Probably take the wheels off, too. I'm certain there's gonna be brakes and stuff to do. How many stickers does it have? They're the ultimate speed boosters. <laughs> we can paint it red, it'll go faster too. Holy cow, the brakes are in good shape on this thing. Okay. Uh, and actually the shocks don't look all that bad either. Weird. Considering the condition of the rest of this car, that's odd. I guess they cared about one thing, keeping it on the road. Even the, uh, even the bushings don't look bad. Alright, I'll leave those in. Wait, taking that out, I guess. I just realized I haven't been doing any adding to my shopping list this whole time. <laughs> Oops. going on in here? Holy cow, it's in good shape. Alright. I mean, I can't see the condition of all the pistons, but... Uh, there's only four parts that we haven't discovered now that are bad. Those probably have the rear, like the rear suspension and stuff, I would guess. Oh, how's the starter doing? You know what? Let's take the, uh, we'll pull apart the, uh, the gearbox and see if there's anything in there that needs dealing with. Fix what you can fix, then make shopping lists. Yeah. Yeah, that's what I'm gonna do. I'm not expecting it to be able to fix much, because we've only got a, a couple levels of the repair, but we'll fix what we can. Mm. Actually, transmission looks good. Clutch, etc., whatever. Not the transmission. 1044 where you live? So you're about an hour behind me. It's 11, 1145 here. Plate's fine. Flywheel's fine. Alright. So there's no point taking those off. I can just stick all this back on. I wonder if they'll pay me more if I fix parts that... Um, fix parts that weren't necessarily broken, but if I improve the condition on them. Fire Minds want to know. Okay, uh, rear suspension probably has some stuff going on. No, they won't, I'm sure. Where are you from? I live in southern Ontario. I'm Canadian. Oh, uh, the crankshaft looked like it was okay. Hold on, let me double check. I thought it was all shiny, shiny and new looking. Yeah, it looks okay. It doesn't show the percentage of it, but uh, I don't see any obvious... Because like every time something's damaged in this game, it has like rust and stuff on it. And it looks fine. You can see the uh, rear drive axle needs doing, though. Get out of here. 
I mean, never mind. Just keep reassembling. I'm not reassembling. I'm I'm taking stuff apart right now. The only thing I put back together was the um the gearbox. Why would then? Could have sworn I saw a rust behind the clutch. Oh, I don't think so. It looked okay. It had a different colored uh, like if if there was something wrong with the um something wrong with the clutch, it would show up in here because I pulled the parts out. And uh, it's not on the list. So I think it's... Oh, I found the throttle was wrong, apparently. So there's three parts left we need to identify. Uh, oh, bearing down here. The rest of these are okay. Sway bar lengths are fine. Pushings are good. Worst case scenario, if we can't find everything, if we can get it into running condition, we can take it out to like the test track and possibly spot some things. Like if it's like bushings or something, it'll tell us. Fuse is under 71%. Um, yeah, I didn't pull any of the fuses out. There's only two parts left after this, after this, this other drive axle we pull out that aren't identified. One part now after I get this bearing. So there should only be one thing that's not labeled. Oh no, it's everything. We got it all. So the fuses are fine. So in terms of this this percentage here, you don't have to repair every part on the car over 71%. It's only that any of the parts that you do repair have to be greater than 71%. It's kind of a weird condition. So there can be parts on the car that are like 60 some odd percent, but they didn't want to have them done. But if you had to repair a part that was at like 20%, It'll only accept the repair if you've gone over 71 with that part. Bit of a weird, uh, weird mechanism, but I guess that's their like their way of saying that like you don't always have to have new parts on the car. Okay, it's all good. I, I can't I can't fix the actual body though, which is kind of important. I, I don't have enough money for that. Uh, repair table body. Oh, no, I, I literally can't do any of that. That's fine. I could have waited and bought that perk later. Oh, good. There is stuff I can fix. Start repairing. Uh, welcome to the mini game. Actually, quite a bit we can fix in here. This is cool. I wasn't expecting to be able to fix this much. Some of the parts we're fixing, I don't think I even needed to fix. <laughs> Hope I don't break them. It used to be in 2018 to do the repair jobs, you would just click a whole bunch, but now they've actually made it like a small skill-based game in the sense that you have to click in the green area to do your repair. If you fail then it, and hit a, hit a red bar, then it actually damages the part instead. And if you get a gray one, then you just, you don't succeed on the part, basically. Okay, the rest of these I need a higher upgrade level, so I can't deal with those ones. Fixing cost money? Did it? How much did that cost me? I I totally didn't even notice. Oh, so this is how my mechanic fixes your... That's exactly how. They, they play the uh, click the button at the right time game. <laughs> Gotta love a good Canadian streamer. Well, thanks, Eric. I see Maple and has the wrong age. I've got a cat named Maple. <laughs> how about that? A Canadian with a cat named Maple. I feel like I'm a stereotype now. Um, I think you can't know what the condition of the wheels are unless you actually take them apart. Oh, no, actually, it's got 70% on it. That's fine. 70, 74. Okay, there's a, I mean, rear drive axles and stuff I couldn't fix, bearings I couldn't do. So I'm going to wind up building a bit of a shopping list here. I hope I cleared out my inventory. <laughs> I don't... I think I did, maybe? Except for the rubber bushing and this exhaust manifold. So I think I'm just going to have to go through and just tag everything in here that needs replacing. 
And then I think we'll be all right. Camshaft. Oh man, there's a lot. <laughs> that is a lot of parts. And it's not even getting to the body of things yet. Oh boy. Went back in the vid, repairs costs a couple hundred and you got no experience. Oh, that sucks. Well, even still, a couple hundred is still cheaper than it would have been to like buy the parts. And I think I still get to charge them a cost for it when I build a customer. So I think I'm okay. It's It'll be all right. Uh, what? Required upgrade, renovator four. I'm not trying to fix this thing. I'm trying to put it back on. That's super weird. Okay. Huh. Type C, you can sort parts in condition or name. Oh, that's probably what I should have done. Okay, let's uh, let's start shopping. I guess let's see how much everything's gonna cost me here. This this will be uh, this will be a lot of buying. Your drive axles times two, and I hope I have enough money for this. What's funny is we're putting an oil filter in for an inline four, but it's a six cylinder engine, isn't it? <laughs> Radiator fan. Oh, that's in the electronics area. Uh, ignition coils will be there. Engine head covers here. Only one. Coils cover. Go intake manifold. Throttle. Okay, so I need to get. Uh, Spark plugs in the ignition coils in the electronics store. And then the ignition coils there too. Okay, we got enough. Sweet. I had enough money for all that. May want to stop now and do other jobs? No, I, um, I think we'll be all right. I have enough money. The only thing I can't do is the repair of the, the, the core body of the car. So even when I put the new new body panels and stuff on it, it's gonna be a bit, it's gonna be kind of messy. I think we're okay. The body parts are not all that expensive for the most part, as long as I can use that hood to satisfy the job. I guess, guess we'll find out. Most of the rest of them are like you know a couple hundred dollars each kind of thing. Some less. It's because you have a brake lathe. Oh. Wait, I didn't have to do any discs though, so that's fine. What the heck did you name your other cat? We're trying to update your um, boat convention. Oh, our, oh, so we have uh, Timber was our first cat, and then Maple was the other cat, the, the new one we got. Sorry, I didn't read up. Customers only pay for what they wanted fixed. Yeah, I guess. <laughs> it is a video game, it's hard to tell. Even still, I think it's just easier just to do it all. I don't have to pay attention. Can I only take three of the wheels off this thing? Did I remember to buy things for the exterior? Well, we went to the junkyard and got a bunch of stuff. Um, and so we have some of the some of the exterior parts, but no, I haven't bought any of the other body panels and stuff yet. I want to see what I can what I can put back on the car first, and then we'll do a little shopping thing to figure out what else I need. If it didn't say, take so long to go to the junkyard and loot through all the piles, I'd, I'd try that again, actually. This game's trending better than New World? <laughs> a little bit. <laughs> Not gonna lie, it's, uh, it's, it's actually done really well so far. It's just funny. I think it just has, it has a really broad mass market appeal where, uh, 
New World it really only is a, an appeal for people that like MMOs and stuff. Um, was there anything else I took off the... Oh, I took... I took the fuel pump out. No, I didn't. Hmm. Oh, fuel pump 72, it's fine. Okay. Uh, we didn't pull anything else off the back of the car, I don't think. Oh, we got our sway links and everything here. Back of the car is good. Up front we go. Yeah, I didn't take one of the wheels off. Did I find everything, though? I did. Okay. Okay. Oop. Oh, God, come on. I'm just trying to look at the engine for crying out loud. See, so the older cat isn't, uh, isn't there. Poor kitty got forgotten. Timber, we love you, too. <laughs> yeah, Timber, we've had, uh, probably for about five, four or five years now, I think. He's a lazy cat. Although I, I, I'm fairly certain that describes most cats, but. He was really upset when we got the new kitten. And then, uh, and he, like, he, like, laid down the law. He was, like, swatting her in the head and stuff anytime she came near him. And then it just got to this point where he just was okay with her all of a sudden. Now they're like best friends. I'll tell you that's the case. Sometimes in 2018 I'd fix body parts in cars that only needed mechanic parts. Uh, and you didn't get money for that. Oh, I see. When you repaired body panels on a job, uh, it had to be 100%. I wonder if it's different in this version. I guess we'll find out. I. That's a really... You know what? I didn't even think of that. I mean, it says in here that it only needs 71% for the repair minimum condition. But I don't know if that applies to body parts also. I guess we'll find out. Well, actually, I can... You know what? I'll put something on now. Um, what did I grab from the junkyard that we can put on? Oh, no, no, not that. What happened here? There we go. I think I grabbed a door, right? No, I didn't. <laughs> not that door, anyway. Or that door. Or that fender. Okay, good. <laughs> I can see we're doing great so far. Don't have the necessary part. What about a front bumper? There we go. So 81%. Oh, wow, that's blinding. Oh, my God. <laughs> uh, I think we found a bug. <laughs> I, literally, I literally can't see the front of the car now. That is... That is... If they don't accept that as a as a replacement for their car, <laughs> I don't know what they will accept. That's that's just craziness. But you're right. It doesn't accept it. Crap! I completely wasted my. It's a divine bumper. <laughs> this uh, this car doesn't need headlights, man. It's got the light of God. <laughs> Walk into the light. Walk into the light. That is so bright. It even gets like it even get like this the, like the spot vision around the edges of the screen. Uh, okay, that's got to come off of there. Um, oh no! Okay, good. <laughs> For a second there, I thought it was gonna be stuck. So it looks like I wasted my money in the junkyard. Maybe it's a custom front bumper. You're right. It could be. Um, ah, uh, sort by condition. Wait a minute, those parts that I bought in the junkyard were they were they just trash? I thought I got multiple parts, so that's. Rips and Starline front bumpers, so it's not it's not saying that it has any any special version like the hood B. Let's try putting the hood. Let's put the hood on and see what happens. Could be divine. Oh my god! <laughs> <laughs> I hope they fix that. That's blinding, man. This car looks fantastic. It's all done. It's all. You, you, what do you mean you? What do you mean you don't accept that it's finished? No, no, it's fine. <laughs> Uh, oh, I didn't even, you know what, I didn't even check to see whether it satisfied the condition. Let's see, hold on. No. 
Nope. Bah! Last you game. That's insane, man. <laughs> Alright, whatever. <laughs> Crazy game. Pretty sure that's a bug that's gonna need a little tweaking. Put all the shiny parts in it and then take it to the track. And then not be able to see where I'm going. <laughs> I gotta get it. I gotta get it in running condition first. It can't even run. I didn't know what it felt like to get punched in the right eyeball until I see that. <laughs> that's uh, that's insane. I hope no one was holding like their phone or something close to their face while we were uh, playing the game. Because if you were, I'm I'm moderately sorry. Only moderately. <laughs> That's nuts. I wonder if all the junkyard parts are going to do that. Or if it just happens to be this particular car. Challenge someone to race for slips then blind them. <laughs> yeah, but then when they crash their car, you're, you're really going to want their slip anymore? You have to fix the darn thing. This isn't any car, okay? We're repairing the Pope's car. It didn't say so in the story, but it's very clear now. Very clear. This is the this is the new Pope mobile. He drives a Starline. <laughs> we found a perpetual source of energy. Yes, we've discovered infinite energy, everyone. This car's name is Infinity Gauntlet. Putting the star in star line. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> My future's so bright, I gotta wear shades. Mostly when I work on this car. Okay, so... Uh, fuel filter I didn't have to do, but... Uh, for the spark plugs, I actually... I'm gonna need to tag them because I, I need to make sure I replace the right ones. Same thing with the ignition coils. Uh, otherwise, it won't satisfy the job condition. We gotta have the 100% plugs in the right spots. Stupid radio. Okay. Uh, so this one here. For the other ones, it won't really matter. It's just these four have gotta be the 100% the plugs. These other two, I can use the lower quality ones. Car's auditioning for DSP. <laughs> Is that an RB26? What's this now? What's an RB26? Mm -mm. I have to. I need to play Project Zomboid. That game looks fun. I do like zombie games. Seems like it has a crazy level of detail in it. Oh, we talking about the block? Oh shoot! Uh, hold on, I put that in the wrong spot. Oh no, I didn't. Ah, darn it! That one's that one's outlined. It's an Arby's and Fox's 45. <laughs> uh, man, this game looks so nice. Yeah, if you like these kind of relaxing simulator type games, this one is actually really good. Uh, I played 2018 a whole bunch, uh, and so when I knew 2021 was coming out, I, I knew I wanted to jump in and play it again. It's one of those games that I can... Um, I don't have to pay quite as much attention to the game when I'm playing it, so I can, I can pay a little more attention to the chat and stuff. I still miss things, because... I'm me. <laughs> but I can kind of follow the chat a little bit more. It's a little bit relaxing. The graphics are nice. There's just something satisfying about ratcheting in all the bolts and stuff. It's good. 
I like this game. It's not an expensive game either. When it comes out on Steam, it's supposed to be like 25 bucks, and then uh, the DLC content for it, each one's like five dollars. So it adds up a little bit by the time you get all the DLCs over time, but for entertainment value, I've gotten a lot of value out of the uh, Car Mechanic Simulator games. <clears throat> Need a game key for this for your tablet? I don't know if it's going to be on tablet right away. So um, PC launches on August 11th. Console is uh, August 12th. I haven't heard. Um, I haven't heard about tablet. Although I think 2018 was on tablet, wasn't it? And if so, then it stands to reason this one may make the same same appearance there. Wow, tablet? That would be amazing balls. Well, I think 2018's on tablet. I could be wrong. Something zen about tearing a car apart and putting it back together. There really is, yeah. You know, it's it's um uh for people like that power wash simulator game is another good example of that. The principle of the game is really not difficult. You know, it's not like a competitive type of game or anything. You're obviously not trying to, like, save your life from being eaten by zombies or, like, run away from people shooting at you or anything like that. But um, it's just one of those games that is oddly satisfying when you're playing it. I don't know if this is fun to watch, but it's uh, it's just very satisfying to do, uh, to, like, rip a car apart and put it all back together in here. Okay, um, I think some of this I need to get under the car for. My back can't sit a PC for very long. Oh uh, yeah, I can relate. My back sucks. Oh, I left the battery on the uh, charger over here. Plug that in here. Boom, 100%. It's, it's interesting that you can, you can 100% the, uh, 100% the battery just by sticking it on a charger for a while. No such thing as degradation in this game. <laughs> oh. I realized I pulled off the ABS module, but not the pump. You can also create your own challenges. Yeah, and there's also... Um, the, um, the community support for the game in 2018 was really good. So there were lots of mods and stuff that people came out with that added other other cars to the game. So you end up like you you can go through all the content that they have that's paid content in the game that you get as like the core and then any DLCs and things and then you also have all that mod content that people put out there for neat and interesting cars. So it's almost like uh it's not it's almost like infinite content or whatever in the game. It's not exactly obviously, but because the um, the mod community is so active, there's just like constantly new new versions of things coming out you can rip apart. In terms of methodology, it's all the same. You're just ripping the car apart and putting it back together, but I don't know, it's fun. It's satisfying. Hope they have mods on PS5. I don't think they're they're going to. I I could be wrong, but I don't know that you can have mods on a on a console. Um, see, on Steam, it's really easy because they just make it part of the uh, the Steam Workshop, and then it's really really easy for for people to add uh, modded content. I don't know how that works with um, with consoles. I, I've never seen mods on a console before. There are harder difficulties to this. There are actually. Yeah, I'm playing on normal. There's an easy mode. Um, if you like, if you really need your hand held in the game, basically. And there's also a hard mode where they don't um, they don't identify uh, the order of operation of things. And there's a sandbox mode too. So you can like, if you didn't want to go through the story mode and work your way up, building up your. Um, did I put the clips on? I thought I did. Um, if you don't want to go through the trouble of building up your shop, yeah, the clips are there. I got them all. Um, you don't want to go through the trouble of building up your shop. You can just like go into into sandbox mode and just pick whatever car you want to work on and do it. So there's that too. Might want to install the oil filter. Yeah, I haven't put the oil in yet. I'm just putting the, the fluids in the top here while I'm in the in the general vicinity. 
Uh, we'll deal with the, the filter before I put the oil in. Because <laughs> that would make a bit of a mess. Bright green oil? No, that was coolant. <laughs> Don't forget about the oil. <laughs> Rabbit trying to get me to dump it in before I put the filter on. Did you put coolant in the... No. So when you open the cap, it automatically switches to pouring in the correct liquid. So you can't pour the wrong one in. Oh, I have the starter off too. I forgot about that. Okay. I think aside from the oil, the uh, mechanical parts of the car are finished. Then we just got to deal with the body. Oiled and ready to go. Uh, other tasks are done. Change the oil's done. All the mechanical stuff is done. We just need to deal with the body parts. It really sucks that all that stuff I bought in the junkyard is no use to me at all right now. <laughs> I can't, uh, I can't use any of it. I guess I might as well sell it all. I'll sell everything that's less than 100%. I'll recover at least some of the money that I spent in the junkyard. Yeah, say below 100%. Oh god, it said the... Okay. <laughs> Did it say at or below? I thought it was just was below. Oh well. Uh, uh, Alright, so um, we're going to need a whole lot of everything. I need basically every body part for this thing. And since I can't... Oh, rear bumper. Yeah, 25% on that. Oh, I added it to the list. All right, whatever. <laughs> Get all the glass out and everything. I can't fix the actual body, though. I need the welder. That's $5,000 to unlock. Should have said it 99%. I should have, yeah. That's okay. Those other two parts I didn't really need all that much anyway. I just I would have lost a couple dollars by having to do that, but... Okay, let's um go into the body shop. Uh, it's the Ribson Starline, and we need everything. And hopefully this thing doesn't shine like a beacon when I put all these parts on her. That's going to be really irritating, because I won't be able to see what I'm doing. Please let me have enough money. Oh, no! <laughs> Why, game? Why? Why? Can't finish the job. This thing's gonna have to. Ugh. Well, about that. Uh, let's take all these parts off I bought and just wasted my money on because I need to sell them all. Otherwise, I'm not going to be able to do the next customer job. How do you take $4,500 and turn it into $2,600? You buy parts that you can't use right away, and then sell them back for half of what you paid for them. <laughs> oh my god, such a waste of money. Oh, this car needs to go sit outside. Oh, you know what? Body parts are not a requirement to drive a car. Oh, I don't have the interior. Okay, what do I need for the interior of this thing? Oops. It's not really specific about what type of seats they are or anything. And I sold the other ones already in my infinite wisdom. Can I just put like a soapbox in there or something and drive it that way? Wait, do I? Maybe I don't even need the interior. We, we might be able to get away with that. We don't need the. Let's let's take this out for a test drive. Let's see what happens. I put the oil in, right? Wheels are not aligned. Car may drive in an odd way. Oh no. Oh no. All the all those times that I made a point of double checking the wheels were the same size. 
I might need the wheel. I don't think you do in this game, actually. <laughs> I think you can drive without it. All the times in this game, I've checked to make sure the wheels were the same size, and I think this time they might have actually been different. No way this pace is past the safety inspection. Lies. Don't lie to me. All I gotta do is read the tire. Classic, classic Rim 11 sport tire. Oh, you're right. Oh, no, that's, no, wait. Hold on. They're all the same classic rims. They're all sport tires, so that's not helping. It doesn't show the size unless you take it off. If you have a test path, you can align the wheels. I don't have a test path. Or do I? Did I get the test path? I don't think I got the test path, did I? Uh, no, I don't have the test path yet. Shoot. I probably wasted my time here then. We play this game uh, today due to lower chance of pooping yourself. <laughs> That's right, Nathan. I scared the poop out of myself last night and I figured this way. No, they're all the same. Shoot. Okay, so it really is just an alignment issue that I can't fix because I don't have the test path. Arg. I don't have the money to... Oh, man. I, you know what? I might even just complete this order without it being finished. I'll be like, I did all the mechanical work. Take it to a body shop if you want the body work done. I wonder how much it'll pay me if I do that. Yeah, I, I get it. It's a wheel alignment. I, I just wondered if it was a scenario where I had put different sized wheels on different parts of the car. Because that could be a problem, too. It'll still drive. You just have to uh, compensate for the look for death wobble. <laughs> it won't It won't drive, actually. The, they won't let you drive it. I tried. I wonder if I could take it to the test path. I mean, the um, the test track, rather. Not the test path. Please say, hey, Jaden. I think I just did. <laughs> oh my god, the music. Stop it. Well. I can't even complete it. I can't complete it as a, because I took all the parts off. I can't complete it as a partial order. It's also a story job, so maybe you have to do those. Okay, this one's gonna have to go park outside because uh, I can't finish it right now. I need money. Gotta have more cash, man. Poor car. I hope this guy doesn't come looking for his car. Very much like the Ford. <laughs> it's not exactly in the uh, in the condition I'm sure he's expecting it to be. <laughs> uh, poor car. Wait a minute, this isn't Car Mechanic Simulator with lots of cursing. My grandpa taught me that. <laughs> Alright, fair enough. It's a story where you can't complete it until you complete the order entirely. Yeah, that, that doesn't surprise me, I guess. Uh, oh, I could have done detailing in here. Yeah, I need to get the bot I need to get the welder and stuff too. So like where is it here? This thing, this welder here would let me fix the body of the car. Like, there's all the individual panels and stuff you have to either replace or repair. Then you use the welder to fix, like, the body in white, basically. And without that, you can't fix it, so it stays all rusted, but... You need to curse in Canadian? <laughs> take, take off, eh, you hoser. <laughs> Maybe you should put the steering wheel on to drive. No, in this game, you can, I think you can actually drive it without an interior, including the steering wheel. Uh, it just says the wheels aren't aligned, so it won't drive. And I went out the wrong door again. Just tell a customer you're waiting on the panels to arrive. <laughs> Can I go to the test track with it? Wheels are not aligned. Car may drive in an odd way. Oh! I can drive it still! Sweet! I'm okay with it driving in an odd way. 
Ah, we go. <laughs> I thought it wasn't going to let me do it at all, but apparently it will. Welcome to Fox's Auto Records, where all of our wrecking is based on driving the car into a wall. Oh, yeah, this looks great. Where's, um, how do I change the camera angle? I have no idea how to change camera angles in this. But I need to figure out how. And I can't even pull up, I can't even hit escape to pull up a menu. Oh, wait, there we go. No, can't. Um, how do I see the controls? Anyone know how to go into different camera modes in this? F. Control to change camera? No, it's not working. C. Oh, C works. <laughs> this is the car we're taking for a spin today, folks. Oh, yeah, it's flawless. Look at the engine vibrate. Oh, yeah, she's pretty. I can't steer. <laughs> I literally can't steer her. <laughs> Uh, okay, so it turns out a steering wheel is necessary. <laughs> We've got an oil filter. What we don't have is a steering wheel. It's pulling a little bit to the right. <laughs> now left. It's flawless. Perfect. We ran out of blinker fluid. Now we just gotta we already go to the store and get a bucket of prop wash while we're at it. Clean it up real nice and spick and span. Alright, uh, well clearly I need to return to the garage with this thing since I can't drive it without a steering wheel. <laughs> Try turning the oil filter, maybe that will steer it. Ooh, good idea. Gotta lean into the turns. <laughs> we'll put like a we'll put a sail on top of it. It'll be like like a uh, uh, wind surfing or something. Um, okay, I need a steering wheel. Um, it's not the. It won't be in the body shop, I don't think. No, because this isn't interior. There's got to be an interior shop. Oh, there it is. There. It's right next to it. Duh. Um, this is called the Starline, right? Oh, look at that bench Starline. Okay, we got a back seat. What do we got for steering wheels? I mean, I don't even know if it matters what steering wheel we put in it. He wants it. He wants it not to not to cost too much money. So we'll do. We'll go with this cheap one. Hopefully that satisfies his need. And then we need uh, we need seats as well. Sure, these will work. Hopefully, that's a little expensive, but. There we go. Now we'll try taking it for a spin and see what happens. More mode. <laughs> oh, so good. Oh! Notice that? Oh, wait a minute. Hold on. Oh, no, it's still doing it. Okay. I thought it wasn't going to give me that weird alignment issue. Go check the one that was in it. I can't check the ones that were in it. I sold them. <laughs> I had them in my, uh, in my inventory and I sold them off. Okay, I can steer now. Turns out the steering wheel is important in a car. Who knew? Fish it a little bit. Not too bad. Nobody go! Because now the wheels are aligned. It, it still said they were misaligned, actually. I'm pretty sure in 2018 you were able to drive the car without a steering wheel. <laughs> Things to the track nicely. like I bailed out. Oh god! No! Oh. No, oh, right off the wall. 
Yeah, you could. Yeah, I thought so. <laughs> Car goes slower than the Ford. It does, doesn't it? How fast was the Ford going to be? Was it 140? 145? Let's see if we can launch it over the side. Oh, God! Nailed it. All right, back to the garage. Uh, I'm gonna, I'm clearly gonna need to do some more work because I, I gotta get some cash to pay for the body panels for this story order car. Um, when we do actually get to cash it in, I'm sure it's gonna give us a good amount of money. But I'm, I'm, I'm too broke to pay for the panels to finish the story order. So we gotta do some, uh, some other actual work. Uh, but it's already 12:30 my time, and I gotta be up for work in the morning. Uh, my boss is coming back from vacation, and I'm sure he's gonna have a lot of junk for me to do. <laughs> So it's probably going to be an early start for me tomorrow. But uh, thanks everyone for coming to hang out tonight. Appreciate the super chats and everything. If you don't currently subscribe to the channel, go ahead and click on the subscribe button. Come back and hang out again. Uh, we'll definitely be playing more Car Mechanic Simulator 2021. Because uh, I just I enjoy this game. Um, I'll be playing other games as well. Because I kind of have a, a bit of an eclectic collection of games on my channel. But uh, uh, yeah, thanks again everyone. I'm as always Cryptic Fox. I'll see all of you next time.